this is Stampy, and welcome to a, another live stream. Uh, yeah, for the second stream in a row, I am doing something that I have never done before. In a stream, at least. Uh, so I have done Q&As before. So uh, I did a bunch on my uh, second channel, Stampy Long Nose. This is Stampy Longhead, the channel you're on now, if you <laughs> didn't know where you are. There's no signpost. Uh, yeah, uh, basically, I've done a bunch before in the past. Um, uh, but yeah, I thought I'd do one as a live stream because out of everything, this is one of the the styles of, like, content, I guess, that kind of works best as a live stream because uh, it can be intractable. Because normally what happened in a QA, and a someone would, like, ask a question and be like, um, what's your favourite type of cake? And I'd be like, oh, I like this kind of cake. But then that'd be it. They'd like, that'd be the end. But here, someone could say like, oh, do you like this? I could be like, oh, do you mean like this? And they could be, no, like this. And I'd be like, oh, I like this. What do you think? And then we can have a bit more of a back and forth. Obviously, <laughs> it's not going to be quite a conversation because just by the fact that I'm doing it in my lovely world, um, I know that there's going to be uh, a lot more people here than are normally here in my streams. So the other thing that I wanted to do with this stream is just to like... Just kind of do what a lot of people want me to do. Because in my streams, I like streaming stuff that not many people will really know about. Uh, it means that there's not going to be too many people watching, uh, which generally uh, is a little bit more fun, just because we can have that little bit more of a conversation. But I do know how much people want uh, to see me doing Minecraft, how much people uh, want to see me doing Lovely World, and uh, how many questions people have. We get a lot of questions. A lot of the, the same questions coming back again and again and again, and I answer them again and again and again. So I thought having a dedicated place where I'm going to be in Minecraft, in my lovely world, answering questions uh, is going to be the uh, the perfect way to, to do this. So yeah, what the uh, the format of the, the stream is going to be, you ask questions. Uh, I'm going to be doing a mixture of hopefully some like Serious questions, no, not not like serious, serious questions. Like, don't worry, we're not gonna get, <laughs> we're not gonna get that serious. You know, but like genuine questions about like, you know, in this video, why did you do that, or how do you record, or what setup do you have? Like, you know, questions that people just might be curious about that might help them out, or just, you know, maybe uh, it's been uh, something that someone has been wondering about for years and years and years. Here will be your chance to to actually ask me, um, and I can talk about it. And then hopefully some fun ones as well. Maybe like some would you rather questions, some kind of sillier ones. Uh, basically, just some uh, ones that. Um, yeah, we'll hopefully have a little bit of a bit of a chuckle uh, about uh, as well. Um, yeah, so it's not just too um, boring, <laughs> I guess. Um, yeah, uh, and then um, yeah, while we're doing that, we're also just going to be in my lovely world. So I was originally going to call it like Lovely World Tour, but I think like calling it uh, Lovely World Tour probably um, isn't the right way to call it because I'm not going to be like. Oh, and when I constructed this wall, you know, we thought we wanted to do this. You know, I'm not going to be really talking about much that's going on in the, the gameplay. Uh, it's going to be much more while I'm answering questions, rather than you having to sit there and just staring at me, swinging back and forth in my little chair, uh, <laughs> you can be uh, seeing Lovely World. So I know that there are probably um, uh, a lot of you that haven't been watching so much recently, which is fine. I mean, people got things they need to do, um, but uh, they might have kind of come back to, to check in on me, uh, and so maybe you'll get a bit of nostalgia looking at some of the uh, the older builds. Uh, I probably would a little bit as well, because I don't do this. You know, I don't wander around my lovely world when I'm not recording. I got stuff to do as well. Uh, and then also, uh, as a double whammy, uh, if you haven't been around for a while, uh, I can show you some of the new stuff. Some of... Hello, Alex. Uh, yeah, I can show you some of the, um, the, the new stuff, uh, which you may not have seen. And I guess kind of spoilers a little bit uh, for for Lovely World if you want to see me actually build them. But yeah, I can show you uh, maybe some of the newer mini games and some of the newer builds uh, which you may not have uh, have seen before. So that is the uh, the plan. As you heard, I'm being joined by a dog. We did a um a poll before the stream started. Uh, of just May or Alex, who are our two dogs. I never said what they were voting for. I was joking in the, the chat that's saying they could just be voting for which dog do I poke in their belly. Uh, but no, I was uh, <laughs> I was doing a poll for who was going to join. And uh, I should say this quietly in case May can hear me downstairs. But Alex won. Alex won. So if you hear any barking in the background of the stream, blame the uh, uh, couple hundred people that were in the stream before it started. 
and they voted for Alex because it's their fault. We have the uh, the crazier, louder dog rather than the one that kind of just sleeps <laughs> quietly in the, the background. And the reason she's so attentive at the moment is because I have a big dog treat for her. So, um, yeah, I feel mean because she's going to be sitting there drooling building a little swimming pool under my chair. So I'm going to be nice and give it to, to her. Let's make her do some treats though. Got to make her work for it. Don't get anything for free in life. All right, can you see her? Alex, come here. Easy one, spin, sit, pull, down. Oh, you're jumping the gun. She knew what I was going to do. She's learned the routine. Didn't even say roll over. Oh, did anyone see my, um, my tickety talk when she did that? I was getting her, so we were just tucking her tucking her into bed. She gets a little bedtime biscuit before bed. And she's on the sofa. And I'm like, down. And she's like, down. And she just goes, boom, she's going to roll off the sofa. And I have to like, dive forward and like, save her life. So now you can, uh... You can understand uh, how that happened uh, probably uh, a little bit better. Uh, hello everyone who is from Tickety Talk, by the way. Uh, been a bit of a crazy time on Tickety Talk. Uh, I didn't expect to get, um, yeah, like, uh, I think, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm on like 2 million followers now on Tickety Talk, which um, I did not expect uh, just because, I don't know, it's, it's Stampy and TikTok, like they ain't, they ain't things that go together. <laughs> Stampy's like the nerdy guy who plays Minecraft, you know? <laughs> like why, why has he got so many followers on TikTok? And I know obviously like I've had a following in the past that was like bigger than that and stuff, but I, th I think the reason it's so shocking is because, you know, like I have, I'm less now, but I've been very active on Twitter, you know, for a very long time. And I've been relatively active on Instagram posting pet pictures and you know like I mean what am I on what am I on on Twitter and Instagram like it can't even be close to to tickety talk uh so Twitter where I'm most active I have to try and work out how I see I have um 690 followers and then on Instagram this isn't bragging I'm making the point I have 820 so like you know I've been on those for years I guess maybe just tiktok so big that, you know, it, it was just an, enough, um, uh, I guess, to kind of boost it over the, the top. Uh, so, uh, sorry the, uh, the slow mode's so big, uh, just because I knew there's going to be a few more people in here and I would need to have a chance to actually read the, the questions. Um, so, what I'll say is once we get into it, uh, the best thing to do if you want a higher chance for your question to be read is um, save it so that, like, you're putting your question as the main thing. Obviously, you can react and, you know, you can do what you want. It's up to you. <laughs> but if you want the best chance to be read, maybe mainly just put your questions in because otherwise um, you'll write, like, something in. You're writing, like, like, ha, ah, snappy smells or something. And then you have to wait, like, two and a half minutes until you can write again. So um, that's what I, I recommend. Um... Yeah, uh, obviously I won't be answering every question. This isn't like an ask me anything. Like if there's a question I don't want to answer, I'll just ignore it. So if there's a question that you can see loads of people asking and I'm just not reading it, like I've probably seen it, but I'm just ignoring it. So bear that uh, in mind. Uh, but yeah, let's say hello to some people first. Uh, let's say hello to God. Thanks for watching God. Uh, hi Frankie, welcome back to the stream. Hello to Amber. Hello to Pazza. Hello to Mag says hi. Uh, hello to uh, Sophia. Uh, hello to Stinky Winky, I think that was. Um, hello to... You might have a meta, much better chance of getting a shout out if you, have a, if you have an easy to read name. As you can see, I can't speak. Hello to No, who says hi. Hi to Molly. Hello to Lauren Sanders, was that? Uh, Sean Fields. Hello. Uh, hello to Leah TV. Hello to Elmo. Thanks for watching, Elmo. Uh, hello to Freya Harrison, I think that was. This is like a great speed reading test. This is like amazing. Uh, hello to, to Hannah Cruz. Uh, hello to, to Nathan H. I was gonna say thank you to, uh, to some donations that have come through. Uh, if the donations come through um, too fast, I'll be honest, I might not be able to get to, uh, through every one of them. Like just because I don't wanna make it so I'm only reading uh, questions from donations and not from people in the, the chat because not everyone wants to donate, which is fair enough. You know, you don't have to. Um, but so I'll, I'll kind of be doing a mixture um, of both uh, so don't donate thinking I'm guaranteed going to get to your, your question. 
uh, any donations you know are much appreciated um but completely uh, voluntary and not a guarantee i feel like i need like a, a sticker like satisfaction not guaranteed <laughs> i need in the uh, in the the chat uh, somewhere uh, also uh, because this is much more lively uh, than my streams normally are and the chat's going so fast uh, it means that the mods are going to be working like several times harder than they normally are which is going to make it much more difficult uh, for them and my mods are amazing and incredible so if everyone wants to just say like thanks to the mods because if the mods weren't here then like these streams couldn't happen like if i was streaming like this and there weren't any mods helping me out in the the chat then like i couldn't do it so it's like it's literally it's literally like if they weren't here i couldn't be doing it so um yeah if anyone wants to say thank you to the the mods even if you um you know, get annoyed because they're telling you off because you've done something. Like, trust me, they're here to try and keep everyone safe, uh, keep everything uh, positive uh, and happy. So uh, that's nice. Uh, thank you all for for wishing them a, a thank you. Uh, so yeah, let me say um, uh, let me say thank you to a few people. Uh, thank you to Elijah. Uh, thank you to Sponge. Uh, thank you to, uh, to to Billy Thompson. Thank you to to Sam. Thank you to uh, to Metal EV for becoming a member. Uh, thank you to, to Mika, to Eli, uh, the gaming and movies. Uh, sorry, I'm not reading all of your messages. I just want to try and make sure that I don't miss anyone out. Uh, thank you to uh, to Graham, uh, fun fun Han Solo cousin. Welcome back. Uh, thank you to uh, to Jaden and uh, Dominic T. Uh, thank you to uh, to Jinx Walker. Meme time. Uh, Selware, Jake, uh, Mika again. Uh, thank you to uh, Gatito Kitten, which is a a great name. Uh, welcome back, Josh Phillips, uh, Jay Helberg, Dog Woof. Uh, I haven't seen you in a little while, Dog Wolf. Welcome back. Uh, thank you to uh, Meeple Plays as well. Welcome back to you. Uh, thank you also to um, uh, to Definitely Not. Uh, thank you to uh, McDonald's Energy. Uh, to uh, Kosivi Cosplays. Hopefully I pronounced your name right. Pretty sure I didn't pronounce it right, but I tried my best. Uh, thank you to, uh, to Oisen Oisen. Uh, who says, uh, I'm ready to uh, to grow down now and go back to the good old days. <laughs> thank you also to Ray Cypher. Oh, Chicken Nuggies, welcome back. Uh, thank you also to uh, to Red Zert and uh, Applejack. Thank you all uh, so much. But, um, right, I think I'm... I was going to say I think I've chatted enough, but that's all I'm going to be doing here. But let's chat while we, uh, while we wander. So, as I said, we're not touring my lovely world. We're not, like, showing any... Oh, one second. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah, we're not doing anything um, in particular. Uh, it's just while I'm answering questions, I'm just going to go and do a little bit of like aimless wandering around my lovely world. Oh yeah, it's a few things to get out of the way at the beginning. Uh, actually, shall, 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 I'll do the intro. I'll do the intro. Seeing, seeing as I'm here in my bedroom, it would be weird not to. Don't worry about where Barnaby is, by the way. He's safe. He's in the doghouse. So this is an old version of my world. So if I like break anything, like don't worry about it. Like it's fine. Like this is an old version of the world. Um, these columns... If you don't know what they're about, uh, there's a hit the target video that you've missed, okay? I won't say anything more about them because I don't want it to be spoiled. Uh, I guess I say what episode it is would be helpful. Uh, it's called Darkness. So if you want to find out why there's towers all around my world, uh, it's, it's, the episode's called Darkness. Uh, the reason they're all still here is because, as I said, this is an old version uh, of, the, uh, of the world, right? Let's, let's do the intro. Probably for the first ever time with face cam, maybe? Hello, this is Stampy. Actually, let, let me do how I would do it in a video. So I'll be there talking to all my helpers, going, all right, is everyone ready? Everyone got, has everyone got all their materials? William, have you got your clothes? Is everyone ready? Everyone got the food? Okay, okay, right. Uh, Barnaby's sitting down. Oh, I need to get hungry. I need to get hungry. This is what I'll be doing. I'll be going like this, spamming the button, going, oh, I've got to get hungry. Okay, we'll we skip that bit because it takes a while. So I need to eat my cake. Then I'll be like, okay, let's wait for it to become night. Wait for it to become night. Then we're all sleep. Then we're all sleep. Then we'll start the episode right in the, the morning, right? Everyone go to bed. <laughs> this is like behind the scenes of how they all start. And then we'd go, Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. You can see how the um, it lags as I look at my love garden. Oh, look at that. So look over here, nice and smooth. Oh, like butter. Then over here, oh, I like sandpaper. And that's even with my um, pretty powerful PC. Uh, it's still, um, <laughs> yeah, it's still chugs when you look at my love garden. I like the the joke is always like, anytime there's something new and powerful, it's like, okay, that's an amazing computer you got there. Like NASA, you have an incredible supercomputer, but can it run my love garden? That's the uh, the big question. <laughs> right, let's get some of the uh, the biggies out of the way at the beginning uh, for the, uh, the questions. Uh, any questions about me having facial hair? Yes, I have facial hair. 
it's fine, uh, not a big deal. Uh, when is the Lovely World coming back? When's it returning? Uh, it returns on Wednesday. So what day is it today? So, so like three days. Three days, Lovely World will be back. At first it will be once a week. If I <laughs> record enough, it will go back to being um, twice a week, fingers crossed. Uh, and then SMPs. Am I joining an SMP? Am I joining the Dream SMP? Am I joining a Shady Oaks SMP? Am I selling my own SMP? Do I eat SMPs for breakfast? Uh, none of it. I'm not doing any SMPs. Uh, there's, I'm not like, I'm not saying I'm not doing an SMP to then surprise you and I'm going to show up. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not doing uh, any of the uh, the SMPs. Lovely World will return soon. What perfect timing! There are a few little messages uh, that will uh, pop up to ask some of the. Uh, more frequently asked questions. So I'm sorry. I know for those of you that would want to, but I've got like, yeah, like they're, they're just not my style of thing. I'm only kind of like half dipping my toe into YouTube at the moment anyway. Like I wouldn't want to commit so much of it. And if I was going to do one, which I'm not saying I am, like I would want to be there for like the setup. I would want to have some input in like what it is and what the plan is. And, you know, I wouldn't want to just kind of jump into someone else's and not have that control and not know how committed everyone else is. So um, yeah, no, no SMPs, uh, I am afraid. So um, yeah, I would just ignore any more questions about that uh, because they're, um, uh, there, there will be more uh, coming up uh, a little bit. Uh, so yeah, let the uh, I guess let the questioning um, let the questioning uh, begin. Uh, I'll start off taking one from the um, uh, from the the donations, I guess, while everyone else in the chat can uh, can catch up. Uh, what's your favourite Halo game? Uh, Halo Three. Quick answer to to that one. Uh, oh, what boom arm and microphone do you use? El Robo asks. Um, oh, I don't. I sh oh, I don't know. Um, oh, one second. One second. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. They can see you, by the way, on the other camera. <laughs> okay, she's just walked in with a cup of tea. I don't. I don't. I don't know what. Oh, I use a Rode microphone. Uh, okay, so for live streaming, it's a um, NTG three B. Don't know about the the boom arm, but they don't matter too much. I use an NT one A. It's great to use as an NT1A bonus, bonus free question. Oh, what's this? What is this? Cup of tea. What is tea? <coughs> yeah. Coffee. Thank you, my love. I have snacks as well. Oh, not for me. You're just... No, for me. <laughs> Maybe like chocolate as well. I'm, I'm having hot chocolate snacks. It's just, just braggy. I've only just been, I've just been talking for ages. I've only just... What are you doing? Q&A. Oh. You got a question? Yeah. Um... If you could be any type of fruit and you can fly. <laughs> okay, flying fruit. What and you could change colour, what would you be? I could change it. So does the um does like the aerodynamic nature of the fruit matter? Like if I was a melon, would I fly slower than if no. I was like a banana? Okay. No. Uh well, I, I wouldn't want to be a squishy fruit because I feel like if I'm not... Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> how dare you. <laughs> um, Hello, Alex. A coconut's fruit. Ooh, I think so. Google it. <laughs> if only there was a way to find out. Uh, are coconuts fruit? What, what does the chat say? Do they think coconut is fruit? Basically speaking, a coconut is a fibrous one seeded droopy or droop. Droopy. Is it droop or droopy? <laughs> also known as a dry droopy. <laughs> nah. However, when using loose definitions, the coconut can be all three a fruit, a nut, and a seed. Whoa, I'm, I'm counting it three. then. Um, is, it, is it droop, I guess, not droopy? What does it say? Here, yeah, a dry, a dry droop. droop. A dry droop. That counts. Do you want to be a coconut then? Well, yeah, because I'll crash all the time. What? But then you'll break. Yeah, but it's better than being a grape, isn't it? And you just squish. No, you bounce into your grape. No, if you're... Well, I, I fly Grapes fast. Pretty I fly fast. Oh, okay. What yeah. colour would you be, ah. though? Um, what colour coconut? I'd be just, like, default brown, so then I could blend in. I could like I could. That's so boring. I'd be up in the. You can be any color coconut you want to be, and you choose to be a no, brown because... coconut. No, because. That is such <laughs> you personality. No, because, that is you. Because I'd go to the Bahamas, yeah. I'd be up in the tree. <laughs> someone would walk underneath me. What are you yeah. I'd drop down, go. But yeah, like. 
on the top of their head and I'd go back up and then they'd like be looking around like, and I'd just be there like <laughs> they'd just see one coconut like shivering as it's like <laughs> giggling like, <laughs> that's what you'd do if that's you, what I'd do you flying coconut yeah I'll go on there what's your answer I don't think no one's ever asked me no one's ever cared about me enough to ask well no one did ask me until right now go on um if I'm so boring I would be a oh what's what's a fun what's a fun fruit or like something Pineapple. really small, like a raisins fruit. It's dried fruit. Could, do, does dried fruit count? Hmm, it's fruit. I'd be um, a little raisin. What colour? That could fly. Um, I don't know. You can get any colour raisin anyway, so it's not like that interesting. What's a different colour raisin that no one would eat? No one would eat a blue raisin, would they? Or a raisin's already blue. There's if there's like the thing is with raisins is that they're like every colour anyway. Could I be a rainbow raisin? Could I be a rainbowsin? 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 I'll be a rainbowsin. That's my answer. And I'd have little wings as well. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next question. Anyone else in the chat got a, uh, got another question? <laughs> Jamie messaged me. Oh, of a question. Saying, bruh, Stamps has 7k people watching him with that shocked face that we always see. <laughs> bruh. Bruh. Hello, Jamie. Rocket Willing says, I'd be a pineapple on a flying pizza. No. I mean, you could be a pineapple, but you the piece of pineapple would be the thing that flies. Yeah, but the oh, pizza would, would be, be drooping the... over that it. That is so smart. No, because then you can just be any fruit. And I could be like, oh, I'll be a raisin, but I'm like strapped to a plane. But oh no, they fly anyway. No, I'd be strapped to like um, um, a dog and then the dog would be flying and they're basically a flying dog. But you wouldn't be because you'd be the bit of fruit that flies and it wouldn't be like, yeah. Right, I'm going to pause the chat so I can actually read it and see if I can... Uh... Can I, re can I pick you a question? I'm doing my cue. I'll pick you one. <laughs> Go on then. No, because then the person's going to be really happy if I choose their one. Yeah, that's a good one. Tiny hen. Do you want to answer that? Oh, well, why did you and Squash decide to go vegan in brackets? I'm vegan too, by the way, with a little plant. There you go. I'll choose that one because why not? Agenda. Go on. Um. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, we went vegan in like 2019, and um, it's just the normal, re you know, it's just it's for the animals, really. Like we ended up watching like um, uh, some YouTubers, in particular, someone called Earthling Ed, and kind of reading more into it, and then kind of like <laughs> just feeling like we basically were vegan, but just not acting on it. I guess like all of our morals and everything that we thought of, like the way we thought of animals and stuff, lined up with it. But we've just been like, you know, most people in the world raised to, to eat meat and just kind of doing it by default, uh, I guess. And then it's only when you really stopped and kind of question it, uh, did I, uh, yeah, did we really kind of think about it. Great view from up here. Yeah, one of the things I can mention is we're playing on, um, we're playing on Bedrock on PC. So uh, it just means we can have a really high draw distance. So normally you'd never be able to like, like see uh, so far off in the, the distance. So we'll go up on the clock tower because that's going to be where we're going to get the best view. I did explain about these towers. I kind of I kind of think of this. I wanted a version where I could kind of show some of the new stuff that I've built, but I wanted one about all of the uh, the towers. Um, but uh, yeah, I, that just doesn't really exist. So just ignore all of the uh, the towers for now. Uh, Hornet says, uh, will there ever be a barely cooking contest part two? Uh, Squid and I have actually spoke about that. Um, but... Uh, yeah, obviously we haven't been able to meet up <laughs> uh, this year or, or anything, but um, yeah, no plans for it. But I won't say that like it couldn't happen. Uh, what was your most fun video to make? Uh, says that slime dude. So I don't know if this is my most fun, um, but it's one that kind of just stands out for just being so unique. But there's a stampy short uh, that I made uh, not that long ago called um, uh, The Interview or the interview, I think it's called the interview. And that one where was where I didn't really write the script. I kind of wrote a bit of the script and kind of like the start of it. But then everyone else just sent in audio clips of them answering questions. 
and going through and like listening through like everyone's uh, responses was really funny because if I make a joke in a video or write a joke in a video, like I know the joke because I did it, but this way I never knew what they were gonna say. So some parts weren't great because of just how long it took to like listen through as many of uh, as we could of them. But the ones when we did find like a golden one that was really funny, uh, that was uh, amazing. So that one was, uh, was, uh, was really good fun to, to make. Oh, Ben says pineapple on pizza. I guess we were probably going to get that. Uh, I have a bit of a boring answer to pineapple on pizza. Uh, basically, um, I think it's fine. Like, if given the choice, if someone said, do you want it or not, I'd probably say no. But if I got a pizza with pineapple on it, I'm not going to, like, flip it off the table or anything. So, um, yeah, I think it's okay. It's not what I would, like, um, purposefully choose. Uh, do you watch anime? Uh, was asked by uh, Grace Mogato. Um, so I don't watch any like anime like series. I feel like there's kind of like there's anime in terms of like a certain style of Japanese animation. And then there's like anime anime, which is almost like its own genre of like a very specific certain type of style. So I don't watch anything like... Um, like One Piece or like Naruto or like Dragon Ball Z. Like I don't watch any anything like that. Uh, but I do really love uh, Studio Ghibli films. Um, so uh, I've watched um, probably not all of them, but at least most of them. Uh, Squashy and I kind of started collecting uh, the Blu-ray, um, the Blu-rays for them. And there's not much that I would care about having on Blu-ray. I'm very much a... Um, bring forth the digital future, like get rid of discs kind of person. Like I never buy video games on discs. I, you know, we stream everything that we watch, but there is slightly better quality when you watch like a 4K Blu-ray compared to um, uh, like streaming it. And like Studio Ghibli films, because they're so beautiful, uh, that is one of the few things where I'm kind of hanging on to, to physical media for just because I love them so much. Uh, the Gaming and Movie says, what is the most unexpected uh, hit the target attack? Uh, so I guess if I think through like the Lovely World story, um, I mean, I guess one of the ones where I'm just kind of in the middle of like building something and he uh, attacks. Uh, I will say that there's been a lot of like unexpected things that has happened while recording those videos. Things that were definitely not planned and we have, uh, have rolled have made those videos better like I always think that like people think that they're more pre-planned than they actually are because often it will be like there'll be certain things that need to be done in a certain way to make the story then there'll be a whole big chunk of just like shenanigans <laughs> and like almost um anything uh anything could, could go at that point um uh, do you plan on growing your beard any longer uh no believe it or not I actually shaved today um so, uh, like, I don't actually want a full beard. I don't think I could get a full beard. Like, my beard isn't very good. Like, I have, see that? Like, I've got, like, a patch here. You see there? That's not, like, me messing up shaving. That's just, like, one perfectly smooth, like, section of my cheek that doesn't grow hair. Um, so, no, I don't think, like, I think if I did grow a full beard, maybe it could cover it up. But, uh, I, I'm, I'm so much about just, like, living my life in a way which is as, like, low hassle as possible. And so having a little bit of stubble helps because you can kind of not shave for a couple of days and like no one really tells the difference. And I think if I had a proper beard, that takes some sort of beard maintenance. Once it gets to the point where people are buying me like beard creams for Christmas, that I know then I've gone like a step too far and <laughs> I need to bring it back uh, a little bit. Uh, what is your favorite TV show? Um. I don't know if I have a favorite TV show. There's a lot of like uh, British comedy shows, which I really like, uh, but some of them I probably couldn't really say about. They're not like really rude or anything, but um, yeah, they're not completely kid friendly. Uh, so I'm trying to think, what am I watching at the moment? So we really enjoyed watching Mandalorian. Uh, we are uh, up to date now with WandaVision. Uh, and I really loved how in the most recent episode, at the ending, there was only joking. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it for, uh, <laughs> for anyone else uh, that is still watching. Um, yeah, all I can really think about uh, is uh, is things that we've been uh, been watching recently. Uh, I don't have like a this is my favorite TV show. Anytime someone asks me, like this is this is my uh, my favorite one. Um, favorite breed of cat. 
I don't really know, like, the names of breeds of cats very well. Um, yeah, I, I feel like there's not many, like, breeds of cats I don't like. Like, I don't know, I just love cats. Uh, I do like fluffy cats. Like, I, I feel like Ori is, like, the perfect cat for me. And I don't know if that's just because she's our cat and I love her so much. I think of her as the perfect cat, but she's like, she's quite small. So she's a great like little lap cat, but then she's all fluffy. So like she comes up to you and she looks quite big. Then you pick her up and you're just like, oh, it's just like a, a ball of fluff with a tiny little cat somewhere in, in the middle of it. <laughs> so um, yeah, but we don't really know what breed she is. Um, so she's probably got a bit of Maine Coon in her just because she's so fluffy, but then she's so small. Like she probably, uh, she probably isn't. Uh, can you do a shout out, uh, Chase? I can do, and stay your dog, uh, I say hi. Yes, Tesla says hi. Oh, actually, I'm gonna not engage with her too much. Like, she's fine, I just don't want to hype her all up again and start her barking. Uh, Giggy says, if you were a Minecraft tree, which one would you be? I mean, that's kind of like a bit of a no-brainer, right? It's gotta be spruce. I mean, that's, <laughs> that is, like, by far my favourite type of wood. Probably the uh, the most built out of wood in my lovely world. I don't know. There is a lot of oak here actually because of my house. But if we if we take my house area out of the picture, I think spruce is a uh, is my most most used uh, type of wood uh, throughout the uh, the rest of my my lovely world. Uh, do you play guitar? Uh, kinda. Like I, I used to play guitar a little bit um, back in the day, but I never really got like confident. Like, so I never liked playing, um, like, chords and, like, strumming and playing actual songs. All I'd do was, like, pick, stupidly, I'd pick, like, really difficult bits of, like, picking and, like, try and do it really fast. So I'd just be like, did, 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 like, just trying to do that, like, with a, um, uh, with, like, a classical guitar. <laughs> and that's what I enjoy. I always, like, I, I didn't like it for the music. I liked it for, like, the speed challenge. I really like, uh, rhythm games. Like, uh, Guitar Hero is probably the most famous one on Rock Band. But then even older games like that, like games like Amplitude, some of you may know. Um, yeah, I really love that style of game. I love Beat Saber in VR. And so I almost kind of used guitar as like a, like training for Guitar Hero. Like, I did it the wrong way around. So, but I never actually, like, I'm not a particularly musical person. Um, so uh, I never uh, got really good at that. Uh, can you go to Hit the Target's Castle? I don't, I, I don't know if he's there. I'm kind of a little bit, I'm a little bit scared. I, I probably won't go to, to hit the target's castle. Um, right, what's uh, another question that's coming through? Uh, what's your favorite Minecraft block? I feel, I feel like it's a cheat, but I think cake is basically a block. Like cake is basically a half slab. So I'm gonna count cake as being my favorite block. Uh, I'm not gonna take any dogs with me. Oh, is, is Barnaby in here? Well, to be sure, oh, there. Hi, Barnaby. Oh, hello, everyone else as well. I shouldn't shouldn't have favourites. Yeah, I'm not gonna take a dog with me because uh, it might get a bit dangerous. Uh, oh, go to the go to the rocket. Uh, we can go to the rocket if uh, if you uh, if you want uh, if you want to. Everyone, everyone, no one's asking questions anymore. Everyone's just giving me orders for uh, for where they want me to go to in my uh, in my lovely world. Um, uh, who inspired you to make YouTube videos? So. Um, I don't, I don't know if there's anyone in particular who inspired me. The thing is, like, if you're talking about just in general... Oh, I was going to the rocket, wasn't I? Yeah, making YouTube videos in general. Uh, like, no one. Just because I was <laughs> I was already making loads of videos. Just not for you. Like, before YouTube existed, I was making YouTube videos. Because I was making um, just videos with my mates. Just for fun. You know, like, not to go anywhere. We were just... For the fun of making videos, we just made them. And then for a while, I was uploading videos to a uh, to Google Video. Uh, put your hand up in the chat if you're old enough to remember Google Video. So Google Video was basically like Google's version of YouTube. So there was YouTube and then Google Video. They were basically the same, but then YouTube got more popular than Google Video. And so Google Video was like, oh, and just like ate YouTube and like bought them. So I was uploading my videos to Google Video before YouTube. So in terms of doing any videos at all, no one. Um, and then I guess in terms of like the gaming stuff that I started, it was uh, people like c Nanners and stuff I used to, to watch um, in the very early days before Minecraft. Um, so I guess kind of them, but... Uh, yeah, there's, ne there's never been someone who I'm like, oh god, that's cool, I want to then do that. Uh, I kind of just sort of naturally stumbled uh, my way uh, into doing this. 
Uh, what are your PC specs? Uh, Lewis Crowder says. Um, so I know, I know my graphics card. My graphics card is a uh, 2080 Ti because I wanted it to do ray tracing in Minecraft, which I haven't even done yet, and uh, to do VR. Don't know the processor. It's an AMD processor. Um, I think a Ryzen something or other. Don't know the motherboard. Don't know anything else about it. <laughs> so don't know the, uh, the specs of my PC, I'm afraid. I probably shouldn't go too in-depth about it anyway, because uh, for those of you that um, that have no interest in, uh, in PC specs, it'll probably get uh, really boring. Um, uh, do I have any plans for 10 million? Uh, Cyrus asked. Good question, uh, because uh, very relevant, because we are rapidly closing in to uh, to 10 million subscribers, which is very, very exciting. So my current plan is, is that I won't do anything. <laughs> I won't do anything when I first hit uh, 10 million subscribers. Uh, but the plan is, is when I um, get my, uh, not my play, but yeah, the play plaque thing, the diamond play button, uh, when I get that, I will do a special live stream where I will unbox the play button. Uh, but then uh, I've also been planning a few other little surprises. There's a few other um, uh, things that I want to do in that live stream. So that will basically be my celebration live stream that is going to be just all about 10 million subscribers. There'll be some like old clips of older videos put in there uh, and then some new stuff that I'm going to be recording. And uh, yeah, make a little bit of a, of a celebration uh, would do. Uh, about it. Uh, the reason I'm not doing one straight away is basically because it kind of snuck up on me. Like, looking at like the way my subscriber growth was going, it looked like I was going to reach it about here and I was kind of sloping up to it. And then suddenly in the last few days, it kind of went whoop, like, like that and it just shot up. And I was all panicking, like, no, I need to get a video ready. And I was trying to write a script and plan something. And then I also realized that like, I've done so many subscriber specials in the past, especially if you consider that like, I did one for like, 1,000 subscribers, like 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, I think 50,000, and then a million. So, like I'd done so many before I even reached a million and then did a lot of the million landmarks. There's so many of the things that I've already done before. I've done so many videos looking back at the, the channel and reminiscing and like montages and stuff. Like doing another one just feels like almost like a bit of a waste of time because I've done it so much. Um, so I think that doing it live and being able to, to chat to people and do something a little bit different uh, will end up being quite fun anyway. So that is the uh, that is the plan. Uh, what is your favorite structure in your lovely world? Um, good wording saying structure because that could be like a mini game or um, like a building or like anything, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I like the clock tower, but I don't know if that's just because it's big and you see it all the time. <laughs> I feel like that has kind of become a bit more of an iconic thing. The house, I hate. I hate my house. I don't know if I've ever said this. I really don't like my house. I mean, it kind of makes sense because it's like one of the first thing that I built. And I know a lot of you will be saying like, no, I love your house. Your house is perfect. But like, honestly, it's rubbish. So the thing, the, the bit that I really hate about my house was a few things. One, is I don't like the way it's like basically just sandstone and oak. And I get it, at the time, I didn't have a, uh, a bunch of materials to, <laughs> to build out of. So that's why, that's why it's kind of made out of like that. But this is the section I really hate, that bit over there. Because it's like a big old blob. Because if you remember, originally the plan was, is my house is above the lake, and then I tunnel into the cliff, and then like there's a bunch of stuff in the cliff, like, like hidden, but then I kind of just dug out the whole cliff and built a giant blob, but then it's like right next to, to here. And then look, if we dig in here, like there's building like behind here, look, there's my library there. So I think at some point when I can be bothered to really work out a good way to do it, I'd like to, um, I'd like to sort this out, maybe like dig away all of this mountain make it into a building, add a bit more shape to it, maybe extend it, add a few more towers and stuff. Like, I, I think it's time my uh, my house had a, uh, a little bit of, a, of an upgrade. Um, I think that's the, uh, yeah, I think that that's gonna be something that's gonna be coming, coming up at some point. Uh, thank you to, uh, to Sam for the uh, donation. It says, in your new vids, you seem more chill. Uh, you even missed the garden one time and had to go back. 
2016 Stunty would have restarted the video. How has your work ethic changed? Uh, yeah, that's probably quite a good observation. Obviously, like, I've been doing YouTube uh, for a little bit longer. So, like, when stuff does go wrong, um, I'm just a little bit more uh, relaxed about it. And then, still to this day, we do restart videos. Say if I'm, like, halfway through building something and I've completely got it wrong or it was, like, too slow. It's always about time. If I spend too much time on a mistake, I will restart it. If I, like, forget to go to the Love Garden or something, that, like, doesn't really matter too much and I can uh, restart it quite quickly. It's not too much of a, of a big deal. Uh, in terms of, uh, like, work ethic, I guess I'm, like, I don't consider myself a full-time YouTuber anymore. Like, I kind of just do um, videos when I fancy. Like, you know, I don't post, like, too much. I'm just, like, I'm, I'm much more of a, a hobbyist YouTuber at this point. I just do what mm -hmm. I enjoy. Like, I have no motivation for like what's going to be popular or get views or you know sustain my career like i'm not a career youtuber anymore so maybe that's kind of a affect it a little bit but i think the main thing that you're noticing is just i've been doing it for longer so i'm probably just a um a little bit more relaxed uh, about it and then it's also just nice to just because there's just less people watching and like even if i'm doing a live stream if i'm live streaming there and there's a thousand people watching like i'm just tend to be more relaxed than if there's, you know, 20,000 people watching, you know, which I don't know if there ever has been, maybe the building time stream, I can't remember, but um, yeah. So uh, I think that maybe that like the the attention's off my channel and like, I'm not on the homepage of YouTube anymore. I'm not, you know, when people sign up to YouTube, like, you know, I'm, my channel's not pushed forward as like one of the happening places on YouTube. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of tucked to a little corner like, oh yeah, he's still here. <laughs> he's still going, he's still doing it. So I think maybe that's made me a little bit more relaxed because it's kind of stepped away uh, a little bit of the uh, the, the pressure. Uh, Anna says, uh, hello Stumpy, uh, do you have any siblings? I do, I have two sisters. Uh, one of my sisters is called Nettie and uh, she is a YouTuber, if you want to go check her out. Uh, she doesn't really uh, do so much anymore uh, because she's uh, just had a baba. Uh, making me uh, an uncle, so she has a uh, yeah a new baby uh, last year. So she, um, as you can imagine, hasn't had the uh, the same amount of time. Uh, but yeah, you can go watch back her old videos. Uh, and then my other sister Rachel um, isn't a YouTuber, so um, yeah, I guess she's a little bit more secret <laughs> to to you. But yeah, I do have uh, have two sisters. Right, let me. Uh, I, I have to keep just kind of pausing the the chat so I can go and have a read through to pick one. Uh, getting a few ones. Uh, are you on the Series X? Uh, Duke says no. So we're playing uh, Bedrock on PC. Uh, can you stream more Overwatch? Uh, I probably will do uh, when Overwatch 2 comes out. Uh, uh, show us a picture of your nephew. It's actually niece. Um, I, won't, I won't show any pictures here, but um, I think Nettie's put some pictures of her on Instagram maybe or Twitter. Uh, does Squashy call you Stampy uh, or Joseph? So, almost always Stampy, but the problem is, is like, we'll, we'll call each other Stampy and Squashy all the time. But then there'll be times in like, in the real world, where like, like someone will be like, oh nice to meet you. Like, say like, we just moved house recently, and uh, like, we'll be meeting the neighbours. And I'm not going to go up to the neighbours and be like, hi, nice to meet you, my name's Stampy Longnose, this is Squashy Quack, she's a duck. You know, I think we'd be like, chased out the village with pitchforks. <laughs> so in those situations, we have to um, say, you know, this is Joe and Beth, hi, nice to meet you. Um, but um, yeah, those situations have had so, like happened so much that now we've actually started calling each other by our real names um, a little bit more. Oh, should I try and go for the piggy bank? Uh, yeah, a little bit more than we used to. And so even sometimes now when it's just us, we will still say, um, uh, Joe and Beth, but generally it's uh, it's Stampy and Squashy. Uh, thank you to Kazoo who says, are you a football fan? I've wanted to know for years. So I wouldn't say I'm like, like not, not to the, oh no. Guys, who wants to watch me do some parkour? Oh dear, right, I'm gonna drink some tea to get ready for this. Okay, right, let's, um, let's do this. So yeah, I wouldn't say that I'm a, um, a proper football fan in terms of the level people like are. Like I don't really care like follow a team. 
But like, I, I enjoy watching football. I just don't care who wins. But like, I don't really watch it regularly. If it's like the, the World Cup or something, I watch that. Um, and I've been to a few football games live. Uh, I saw Fulham play against Pompey uh, when like I was younger. And then uh, when I was in LA, I actually saw LA Galaxy play against uh, Man United, which was pretty cool because David Beckham was there um, and uh, Rooney was there and stuff. So that was quite cool. So like, I have a mild interest in it, but certainly don't follow it properly. Oh dear, I'm gonna mess it. I built this. I I'm, I put myself through this. I built this. So if you don't know, this is my um my piggy bank. It's one of my older builds, and the idea is is I have a vault. Uh, but only people that are good at parkour can get into it. Right? Shall we? Uh, shall we change the tone a bit? Let's do um. Let's get. Let's do some sillier questions. Let's do some joke questions. Some like would you rather's or like. Uh, yeah, some kind of funnier questions. If you do have a genuine question and I see it, like, I won't ignore it, but I think it'd be fun to do some, uh, some more, like, silly thought experiment ones, uh, would be, uh, would be quite fun. Right, okay, let me pause this chat. Uh, oh, Lauren says, what's the biggest fail that's happened when recording? Oh man, there's, there's too many! There are two, oh, there's been, the amount of outtakes is ridiculous. So the one that always stands out in my mind is there was, right, this is a little bit behind the scenesy for Lovely World. Uh, if you don't want like anything to be spoiled for past videos for how they're done, any of like the magic, then maybe don't listen. But there was a Hit the Target episode, which I can't remember what it's called, maybe, um, someone that knows could put it in the, the chat. Um, where I think it, Viva Dash like hacked my teleporter and it was making me like get teleported around the world. I think I got teleported into a room full of spiders. Uh, then I got teleported into a room where like there was like lava on the floor. And just like this, I had to do parkour. Um, and so that episode took basically the lava room took most of a day to, to film. Uh, it's called Evil Plan. Evil Plan. Thank you everyone for, for saying the, the name. So I, th I think in the end I had about like, I think it was close to 40 outtakes of just one clip. Because if you imagine every, every time I teleport a separate video, which is good. Like the more complicated the hit the, hit the target video seems in terms of like editing and stuff, the easier it is to record. Because anytime there's a cut, it's basically like a checkpoint where if anything goes wrong, we can always go back to that checkpoint. Especially on the old console editions where you could like exit without saving. Because I could just save the game. If something went wrong, I could just quit and just go back in. On Bedrock, it doesn't work the same. You'd have to quit out and make a copy of the world and... Right, I'm going to try and keep this not a stream of me venting about how bad Bedrock is. But um, yeah, <laughs> basically, um, yeah, the scene with the lava, like I, I either failed the parkour or, and I'm not even joking, I did too well. Because there needs to be drama. So I'd always want to be just getting out of the lava. And I'd always want it to look like I was only just making the jump. So I was always trying to make it look more natural and real. And so if I did it all perfectly and I knew right where I was going, it'd be too easy. And if the lava wasn't close to hitting me, it'd be too easy. So that wasn't like, I wouldn't say the biggest fail. But I'd say definitely one that stands up or where I had some very patient friends helping me out make that video as I did it again and again and uh, and again. Uh, right, let's pause, see if I can pick out a, a question. Uh, what's been your favourite Den series? Um, it's hard. Oh, I don't know. Oh, is there a bow and arrow in here? Oh, yeah, there is. Um, it's hard because, like, obviously Sky Den has, like, a special place in my heart. Um just because it was like the, the first den and like the first series I did with Squishy. Um, so that one always, that one's almost unfairly my favorite because it's like my favorite, but nothing because of, what's, <laughs> of what the series actually was, just kind of because of the situation we were recording it in. In terms of like the most fun and the most I've laughed and the most I've like lost my voice from laughing too much, um, it's gotta be Space Den, the most recent one. 
Like, for those of you that are, like, old-timers that are just coming back and don't watch Space Den, like, don't sleep on it. Like, I, d I don't mind saying it because it's not like me saying, like, oh, my videos are so good. It's, like, it's just fun to record. Like, Squishy makes me laugh. We make each other laugh. Silly stuff happens. Like, it's made me laugh so much. So, like, obviously the series still going. So I don't know if I can, like, um, like pin it at the top yet just because we're still halfway through it. But certainly in terms of the one that's made me laugh the most. In terms of like builds and stuff, uh, probably Cave Den. I really love the area that we built in Cave Den. And then Ocean Den has been the best so far in terms of uh, uh, places to explore. In terms of us going out on journeys and like discovering giant fish and flying things and submarines and stuff. Like that's been the best there. Oh, I could be such a good politician. Don't you love the way how I didn't answer that question, but it really sounded like I did. <laughs> and I made everyone happy because I mentioned all of them. I really could be a great politician if I knew anything about politics. Oh, this is going to be a difficult one. Oh, no. Oh, I got to Does it? Oh, here we go. Oh, this is going to be fun. Let's have a memory test. Does anyone remember and could tell to me what the combination is to open this bank? Does anyone know? Let's see if anyone knows. How, uh, how I can know, because there's a, there's a combination I need to do. Uh, Lightning says, what's the stupidest video you have done with Squid? One that stands out for me as being stupid is um, best friends poop together. It's just like, it's just that, just that, that, that sentence. The fact that an episode spawned that, that, that one always stands out in my mind. Oh, does no one know? 333, three, three, someone's saying, um, 591. Like, I, I, I don't even know how you would, like, describe in the chat how to do it. You know, I think there's a glitch, actually. I think there's a way to, to hack it. Right, wait, let everyone look away one second. Right, no one look. No one look. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to hack in. If you saw this, you could hack into my computer and get right in the mainframe. So I'm going to do my secret hack to open the door. I did it. I hacked it. I hacked the door open. I managed to get through, look, and I didn't even, you thought I was breaking the door down. You, everyone thought I was going to smash the door. I did it. I solved the code. So the secret is, is that if you pull down all the levers, like, you're going to pull down the, the ones that are needed. Like, it's not, it, my redstone wasn't good enough to make it smart enough to know if you're pulling down one you shouldn't. So if you just open all of them. I shouldn't say this. You can all you can all break into my bank now. Oh, we're not even done yet. Oh yeah, there's the fishing rod one. Oh, this is quite fun. This is like me playing my own adventure map. <laughs> uh, who's my favourite uh, musician? Says uh, Noah O. Um, so I really like a lot of like older rock and roll. Uh, I like the Rolling Stones are up there. I do like the Beatles. Uh, I like Led Zeppelin. I like. Um, some newer stuff. I guess I like The Killers. I like Kings of Leon. Um, Nothing But Thieves I've been listening to a lot recently. Um, yeah, hopefully that will give you kind of an idea. And then a few like other like single artists that you would assume. Oh, Queen. I like Queen as well. I saw Amy said Queen. I don't know why I didn't think of Queen. Queen's probably my favourite band. I don't know. That wasn't the first one that I thought of. Um, I really like Adele. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Squishy makes fun of me. So you Squishy making fun of me. So I have loads. Actually, I don't anymore, but I used to have loads of Madonna CDs. And that's not through even anything to do with me. But I think someone once got me a Madonna CD. And I was like seven. And I had like a very limited selection of CDs to listen to. So I listened to the Madonna CDs. And so someone would go past my room and be like, ah. Oh, Joe's listening to Madonna. He must love Madonna. So they'd buy me another Madonna CD for my next birthday. And then, like, eventually it got round the town that I just love Madonna. And then just everyone bought me a Madonna CDs. And now I, like, have the biggest collection ever. But I never really liked Madonna. I just didn't have many options. But there we go. That might be a funny, funny story <laughs> if anyone wanted to make fun of me. Yeah, I like David Bowie. Whoever said David Bowie. Uh, do you listen to podcasts? Um, I do. I listen to loads of podcasts. Uh, I mainly listen to gaming podcasts. Um, and then I also listen to some po uh, comedy podcasts or like um, like comedy slash science podcasts. There's a few that I listen to. Um, but yeah, mainly game. Well, I try to find gaming podcasts where the hosts are funny uh, is kind of what I listen to. Um, so like either like in the shower, on dog walks if I'm by myself or um, uh, sometimes in bed uh, as well. 
Uh, anyway, here we go. Look at it. Oh god, this must be so moldy. How many years has this uh, this cake <laughs> been sitting down there? Uh, do you still speak to, to Squid, says Tyler? Uh, yeah, uh, obviously not as much as, uh, as I used to when I was recording him, but uh, yeah, we still um, we still stay in contact. Uh, Ezra says, we ever do Lovely World on RTX? Uh, and also, what do you think of the, the Clash? I'm not listening to the Clash too much, um, so I wouldn't go out as far to say as I'm a fan. Uh, but yeah, I really want to do... Um... One second, let me just finish my tea. I'm so, I'm so nearly done. But I just, I can't leave a single drop. So let me just finish this. We'll, we'll carry on. Done. Good. Right. You got my, you got my full focus um, again. Uh, yeah. So RTX basically um, ray tracing. Um, so I guess if I close this as I go back up. Um, yeah, I really want to. So I didn't realize. So I, I can do RTX or ray tracing. Um, but like, there's like a, I, I don't know how to do it on an existing world. It's so confusing because I assumed what it seemed like is that like once it was released as it is now, you'd be able to go to the settings and just turn like ray tracing on. But say if I go to like video, maybe I was going to turn to tech support. Um, was it even there? Or was it not in video? Yeah, ray tracing. So it's great. So I think it's because you need like a certain like you need like a like a resource pack or something to turn ray tracing on. It's like this whole um, yeah, it's like this whole big thing to to do it. And you can play existing pre-built worlds in ray tracing, but I haven't found out for sure whether you can do it in pre-existing worlds. I know you can make new worlds with it on. So I need to like find out like what's the best resource pack that someone's made to make ray tracing look good, but kind of be the default textures. So I will look into that. I'm sure it will happen at one point and then we'll get a, uh, a Stampy's Lovely World with ray tracing on. I'm also a bit worried about how well it would uh, it would run, <laughs> to be honest. Um, hopefully it would be okay, but ray tracing is very demanding. And whoa, don't you always think that when, um, because on the 360, you can never see very far and it'll all be foggy. It, everything just kind of seemed bigger, but now you can see like, Basically, my whole lovely world in one. Doesn't everything just look like way, way smaller um, than uh, than it did before? But here we go. Here's a, a good overview of my uh, my fun land. Uh, oh, what's ray tracing? Kaja says. So basically, I don't know properly. All I know is it's basically a new way to kind of um, it's mainly used for like lighting and shadows, where it's like physically working out the way that light works, just to kind of replicate it in the game more accurately. So imagine like um, in Minecraft, you have like your door closed, but like the sun is setting, like you could see the light like shining through the gap in the door and you could open it and it would cast shadows and the light would bounce off realistically and stuff. So it's basically a way to to make light act more, uh, more accurately. Uh, people are saying shaders. That's a very similar thing, but it's not, it's not the same. Like ray tracing is almost more like, um, like a physics calculation. Like shaders is almost using trickery to make it look good and make it look realistic. Like ray tracing's like doing the maths and it's it's much more uh, adaptable and um, you know much more close to how lighting, uh, basically it's trying to replicate the way light works in the real world. Um, but it would make everything look pretty and look a little bit different. Uh, are you still writing your books? I am. Uh, I haven't got back to them in a little bit, but they will, at some point, something will come out related uh, to my books. That has not been uh, abandoned. Uh, do uh, not panic. Um, I just haven't had uh, too much time recently. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, I'm writing a series of four books. I have, uh, I've done, Siri is thinking I'm talking to him. Uh, yeah, uh, I've, I've, I've done, um... oh, I'm in my gym. Uh, yeah, I've done, I've, I've done three of them already. Uh, but they still need to be edited, uh, and I haven't done the fourth one yet. Uh, so I am working uh, on them, uh, and still kind of deciding like how would I be able to uh, to, to release them uh, and stuff. Uh, here's a here's an easy one from Henry. What time is it? Uh, it is uh, coming up to uh, to four p.m. Uh, in the uh, in the UK. No, oh, this isn't working. Or is there is, or is there a button? Oh, there's a lever. I think I think the floor is meant to do something. I think it's all meant to like light up. It seems to be broken. Yeah, so obviously because a lot of this was built on console edition uh, and we're now on, on Bedrock, uh, a lot of this stuff doesn't uh, quite work the uh, quite work the, the same. Uh, so people saying to go on the Creeper Coaster. Yeah, we get over to the uh, 
the fun land in, uh, in just a moment. Uh, what country do you live in? Uh, I live in England. Uh, how old is your lovely world? I have no idea. It'd be pretty easy to find out. I guess I could look back at the um, the uh, the original episode I uploaded and uh, and kind of just assume it took me a day or two to, to get it uploaded uh, and kind of do it that way. Uh, thank you to, uh, to Wally Club for the donation. Uh, uh, Stumpy, uh, will there ever be another series of Wonder Quest in the future? Uh, and do you want to see my chicken statue world? It's got lots of chickens. Um, I'm going to do a hard pass on the chicken statue world, Wally Club, but it does sound amazing. Uh, and sadly, there there won't uh, be any more Wonder Quest, almost definitely. Um, oh no! Oh no, then why doesn't this work anymore? That's meant to say hello instead of as it says at the uh, at the moment. Why does that not work? Oh yes, because the redstone's different in bedrock. I'm sure that's fixable, but that's annoying, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, there won't be any more Wonder Quest. Basically, uh, for those that don't know, Wonder Quest was made in collaboration with Maker Studios, who are now part of Disney, which basically means if I uh, was to do anything new with Wonder Quest, I would have to do it with Disney. And if Disney wanted to do anything new with Wonder Quest, they would have to do it with me. And um, I tried, guys. I'll be honest, I, don't, I haven't spoken about this much before, uh, but we, tr we tried to make season three... Um, I'm sure I'm fine talking about this. Hopefully I haven't signed anything to say I wouldn't have, but yeah. We were trying to make a a fully animated version of Wonder Quest. Um, we wanted to keep stuff in Minecraft, we're gonna do that as well, but we wanted to do make basically an animated TV show for, for it wouldn't even be Wonder Quest season three, it would be like its own thing. And we spent a long time working on it and developing it and coming up with all the characters and the world and some of the stories and stuff. And it looked like it was all going ahead and then it all fell through at the last minute, uh, which sucked because we spent a, a lot of time uh, working on it. Not just me uh, as well, uh, a bunch of people uh, spent a lot of time uh, working on it. So that was a uh, that was a bit of a shame, uh, if, uh, if I'm honest, but we tried. So any of your, um, uh, I guess anger's not the word, but frustration in, uh, in Wonder Quest not existing anymore, it's 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 not it's not on me. I tried I tried my very best to uh to to make it a uh, to make it a, a thing, but sadly it was a uh, it was not to to be. Uh, Caden Play says, "Are you planning on having kids? Uh, nope, uh, no plans to to have any kids uh, in the the future, or now, <laughs> uh, for for that matter." <laughs> uh, will you join Shady Oaks SMP? So uh, I did answer this earlier. I kind of did a a flat. Uh, answer to all SMP questions, uh, but I guess there's a lot of people that are joining in now. Uh, but yeah, no plans to join any SMPs. I feel like I'm just saying no to everything. I feel someone asked me a question that I can say yes to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, let me. Uh, God, this chat's going so fast. It's so hard to, to pick out questions, even with the slow uh, the other ones. Uh, oh, what's your favorite ride at Disney World? That's a good uh, question uh, from a uh, Joy Dance. Joy Dance. Oh, I don't even know what the answer is. Oh, I, d I don't know. Oh, maybe. May I don't know if this counts because it's from what's it called? Is it California Adventure? The you know the one in um in uh, in Anaheim, the not the Magic Kingdom, the other one. Uh, but the Cars ride. Has anyone ridden on the Cars ride? Oh, it's so good. It is so so good. I don't want to talk about it too much because of spoilers. But it's got like some of the the best big animatronics uh, that I've seen in a, uh, a Disney ride. Like there's more detailed animatronics, like the uh, the ones on like the Avatar ride and stuff. Um, but in terms of like seeing a giant talking real life Pixar car, it's amazing. And I don't even really like the Cars films that much. And then it goes fast and you can have a little almost like roller coaster type thing and you're racing the other car. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, so yeah, probably Cars. Uh, I am a big fan of um, of Space Mountain. Uh, all the Space Mountains. I mean, my favorite's probably the one at the um, Disneyland Paris. Uh, I'm just going to talk about Disney World for ages now. We've been a lot. Um, the uh, the new um, uh, Snow White ride, the Seven Dwarfs ride, that's a, a really fun one. Um, Splash Mountain's always a bit of fun. I'm really excited, looking forward to the, um, the, the rework of Splash Mountain, where they're turning it into um, Princess and the Frog. That's something I'm looking forward to. I like Tower of Terror. Tower of Terror really makes me laugh. I don't know why. I know it's meant to be scary, but the way you bounce up and down, like I've got a bunch of like of the pictures that they uh, that they take of you um, uh, as you're doing it. And they're always just me in hysterics laughing. I don't know why I find it so unbelievably funny. Uh, <laughs> but that's one of them. 
Uh, thank you so much to, uh, to to Blackbird's Folly for a very generous donation. Um, says, uh, hi Stampy, have you ever considered playing a game called Wonder Song? I've seen Wonder Song. I think it's on Game Pass. I, you know, I, you know, you know, I think I've got it downloaded, but I've not played it yet. Uh, I think it would fit in well with your channel's content, and it's so much fun. Hope you have a great day. So that recommendation actually means a lot. I mean, it means a lot. I don't mean like emotionally, but it, it, it's an impactful one just because I, it's a game that I've like looked at screenshots from and was like, oh, that looks kind of good. But the fact that someone's actually played it and it is good, um, yeah, maybe I will. Uh, I will check that out. Uh, Justin asked, uh, Stumpy, are you going to do any meet and greets? Obviously, not anytime soon. So I did plan on going to the uh like last year's minecon but not really minecon uh event uh basically they were going to do what would essentially be minecon but not minecon because minecon is a live stream now and not a con but they were going to do a con which was like minecon but not call it minecon uh i can't remember what it was called <laughs> they're so weird with their names because it was like minecon earth and then they released a game which was like minecraft earth and then they changed like i've completely lost track but yeah i, I was hoping to go to that i wasn't like um officially invited or anything yet or like planned what I was going to do there but I kind of thought that would be a nice last convention to go to as a final hurrah to say I guess uh I guess not goodbye but like you know like I'm not I ain't going to be doing this for too much longer um uh you know I'm going to keep up doing occasional videos and stuff you know where I want and like you know kind of what I'm doing now when I want to enjoy doing something I'll do it but like as I said like um YouTube and this kind of stuff is you know for at the force um at the front center is a hobby now you know rather than a than a job so um yeah just practically i can't be like paying loads of money because like i think the thing that people don't forget about conventions i mean maybe it's different for other people and i've been scammed but you lose a lot of money because you don't get paid to go um and especially with the mine cons they don't pay for your travel they don't pay for your hotel you know basically you do a bunch of I'd say work, you know, obviously it's really fun, but, um, you know, in terms of planning it and like any pre-work you need to do and like, yeah, I've got to call it like, enjoyable work. You know, it's long, tiring days, but, you know, it's it, 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 it does take a lot out of you um, physically. You often end up getting ill because you meet so many new people and the hygiene is usually uh, not great. Like, I'm not going to be keeping up doing that, <laughs> you know, all, all year round, but... There have been some of the most amazing experience that uh, I've ever had. And meeting people in person um, who enjoy my videos is always the most gratifying thing. You know, like, um, I'm looking forward to reaching 10 million subscribers because I'd like to have that. That diamond play button will be a lovely thing to have on my shelf. And it'd be a great thing to, to look back on when I'm older as like a, a fond memory. But none of it's going to be... Um, close in comparison compared to like the joy that comes from a uh, from meeting someone what's the oh yeah how do i uh how do i open this so this this might be this might be something that some of you haven't seen so this is a, a beetroot what's it called a uh, beetrootique that's quite good that's quite cute uh yeah which is my beetroot cafe which no one ever goes to and fizzy has hidden a cookie restaurant underneath but there's something i needed to do to open it and i wonder if it still works i'll take the water out Okay, let's take the water out and let's see if anything happens. <gasps> oh, it still works on bedrock. And now we come down here. Oh, and then, oh, then don't I have to throw something on the floor to make the cookies come out? What did what did what did I need to throw on the floor to make the coffee the the um the cookies come out? There's some there's something hidden under the floor. I think it's down here somewhere. And if I throw so do I throw do I just throw anything down? I throw so I throw some eggs. I think it's like I think it's down here. No. Oh, do I have to throw a cookie? Oh, I have to throw a oh anything. Some people are saying anything. Oh, oh, did that do it? My egg, my egg disappeared. Did the egg disappear? I don't know if I'm throwing. I swear it was somewhere around there. Oh, oh, oh no! I heard. I don't know if you heard it. I heard a bunch of dispensers going off, and then nothing happened. I reckon there's a bunch of cookies like down here. Or maybe they don't go through the walls in bedrock. 
Are there a bunch of cookies? Oh, yeah, all the cookies have fallen down there. <laughs> so, the way it was meant to work is it just fires a bunch of cookies from every direction. But, um, yeah, like, one of the, the sad things is a lot of the uh, the stuff that used to work on uh, on console editions uh, no no longer works on, uh, on Bedrock. Uh, the BC player says, uh, will you ever play any Yokai Watch games uh, again? So the ones that they released that were very similar to the one I played... I decided not to play just because, unlike Pokemon, uh, a lot of them are set in the same setting. And so I kind of wanted to wait until they had, like, a bigger upgrade. So uh, I still like Yokai Watch. I really love the TV show for, uh, for a Yokai Watch. Uh, but no plans to play any of the ones that are currently out. But if there's a, a new one that comes out uh, that I like the look of, uh, then I, I will not say no. And I may, uh, I may check it out. Right, this is my fast food restaurant where the food goes fast. I think this still works, you know. Oh, there we go. There, go. there goes the apple. There goes the apple. <laughs> Is it bad that I'm still sometimes impressed by my own bills? I know they're not very good, but they're things that I built ages ago, and I come back to them I'm like, oh, that's quite cool. <laughs> I'm glad I did that. Uh, where is the sweater from? Uh, Annabella asks. Oh, I could be fancy here. This sweater is from Sweden, I can say. Actually, no, it's not from Sweden. I, I'm just lying. I'm so sorry for lying to you. It's almost from Sweden. It's from before Sweden. If that makes sense. So uh, I got it at the uh, the airport when we were on our way uh, to Sweden uh, to visit Mojang for something. Uh, so I realised that uh, I hadn't. I was going to Sweden and um, it was in the middle of a um, a giant snowstorm and I didn't have very many warm clothes. So I I got it from the uh, I think Heathrow probably uh, airport. Um, so I could have it in Sweden. So if you go back and look at one of the vlogs I did with Stacy and Squashy in Sweden, you see I'm wearing this a lot because it was my one to keep me nice and warm during a, a go away glass uh, to keep me nice and warm while I was in uh, in Sweden. So I don't know what the actual shop is called. Uh, if you couldn't tell, uh, I'm not a particularly fashionable person. I don't know anything about like clothing brands or anything. I just buy things that are cheap and comfortable. In fact, I don't. I very rarely buy uh, anything just because like most of the, the clothes that, are, that I get uh, are presents. So like normally like around Christmas time, I get a big influx of, uh, of new clothes just because my family and Squashy uh, <laughs> buy me a bunch of clothes and that normally lasts me for the uh, the rest of the, the year so uh, yeah not not the best answer uh, have you heard they are making uh, Disneyland in Kent Charlie Paradise says they're making Disneyland they're not making a Disneyland in the UK they're not making a Disneyland in Kent that, that's not real is it I'm just, I'm just I'm gonna search Disneyland and Kent and if loads of results don't come up I'm gonna call you a liar a new picture has been released of the London resort they're making Disneyland in Kent is this a re how do I not know this how do how is I spoke for like 20 minutes about my favorite Disneyland ride how do I not I'm so sorry for assuming you're lying but I just like squishy did you know this why do you cause Squ squishy like I, I love Disney but squishy's like like this is like, this is like a normal person. This is someone who really likes Disney. This is me. And then like, this is Squashy. Um, <laughs> so she must know this is a thing because she watches so many YouTube videos. A new picture has been released of the London Resort, the 3.5 billion pound theme park. God, Mr. Beast could build it. Uh, it's set to open in Kent in 2024. No, it's not opening in 20, 2024. It's like soon, the aerial rendering of the park, set to be the UK's answer to Disneyland, should- wait a minute. The UK's answer to Disneyland. Is it Disneyland? Or is it a theme park to like, be like Di I don't think it is Disneyland. I think that's what it is. Because when, when I searched it, it came up Disneyland Kent, but it says the answer to Disneyland. I think it's just a different theme park which is gonna be like Disneyland. Is that what it is? Because then I can calm down. <laughs> Candy's like, why Kent? <laughs> uh, a new picture's been released in the London... Uh... But loads of people are saying like Kent's Disney... I, I think what it is, is all of the news articles are just putting Disneyland in the title. So people think it is. 
Yeah, the company uh, behind Plansville's Kent's multi-billion pound theme park has racked up losses of more than 50 million, but says plans are still on course. Yeah, that's fine, but your title, Kent Online Publication, says Kent's Disneyland London Resort. It's not Disneyland. It's mit fake news. Actual fake news. It's still exciting though. I still want to go, like if it's anything like it. Uh, cats or dogs? Asks uh, R. Sloffy. Uh, I'm going to say dogs just because uh, Alex is... Uh, oh, God, look at Alex. I'm going to have to move my zoom-in camera a bit so you get a, a better view of her. Oh, if I can. Come on, let me move it. There she is. <laughs> I promise you, she is She is only sleeping. <laughs> she is uh, She is okay. We had, just had, a, we had a very cold walk before I... Um, before I started streaming, what's it? Um, is it like Storm Darcy? I think it is. Is uh, is sweeping across the uh, across the nation. Um, and yeah, this made it really cold. It's actually snowing this morning. I don't know if it's still snowing now. It was very gently snowing. Certainly not enough to uh, to settle, but it was good because it was all settling on Alex's back. And Squishy said it looks like the night sky, so it was quite pretty. Uh, but no, no proper snow where I am. I'm uh, I'm afraid. Uh, Tom uh, Braganza uh, says, uh, ask me what I think is the best Disney film. I always feel like we need to uh, clarify whether we're including Pixar. And I know Pixar are Disney, you know, well, Disney bought Pixar, but I always kind of put them in their own little, they're in their own little box, like off to the side. So I guess I'll answer both. So favorite Pixar film is Wall-E with uh, Toy Story and Up close behind. Uh, Inside Out is high up there uh, as well. And then favourite like classic Disney would probably be Aladdin with Lion King just peeking around the corner saying, what about me? Like so close but not close enough. Um, and then for like 3D animated Disney but not including Pixar. God, I've got so many like subcategories here. Um, <laughs> would... Uh, Probably be, oh, oh, Moana. I was going to say Tangle, but no, Moana. I love Moana. Moana's amazing. The only problem with Moana is the songs always uh, always get stuck in my head. That's the uh, that's the only downside. Uh, Ross Young says chocolate or sweets. Um, I'd have to lean chocolate, I think. I think sweets can be tasty, but there's a um, there's a comfort that you get from uh, from chocolate. That has actually been one of the uh, the big downsides though of uh, of going vegan. Like I, thought, like, I thought it was going to be cheese because, like, most people that have grown up eating cheese a lot are kind of, like, kind of addicted to cheese. <laughs> like, like genuinely. So, like, that's one of the hardest things to give up. I was like, oh, no, what, pizza without cheese? Really? You know, so that's what I thought. Oh, no, this, this minecart's got a bit a bit stuck. Um, but, yeah, I've actually adjusted to that relatively... Uh, oh, this ain't going to work, is it? Uh, adjusted to that relatively quickly. But the... Uh, the milk chocolate's been a bit harder. There is amazing, like, vegan milk chocolate um, out there, which tastes great. It tastes amazing. There is so much good stuff, but it's just, like, it's just a bit harder to find, um, and it's just not quite the, the same, but still really good. Uh, so it's kind of made me, like, I, I guess, like, I'm having less chocolate than I used to, which is, you know what, probably overall just a good thing, you know? Right, I'm I'm just holding forward to try and get the uh, the my cart to keep going. Oh, am I going the wrong direction? Okay, there we go. We're back on track. Oh, the power. Some of the power rails are not lit up anymore. So yeah, there's a lot of these these things that I've not um I, I've not tested up um in a in a in a in the bedrock. And oh yeah, uh, it looks like it's cut off a bunch of the ride uh, as well. Okay, sorry, Creeper Coaster no longer works, I'm afraid. Oh, actually, I'm going to give a little shout out here to uh, Stampy's Lovelier World. For those of you that haven't seen the uh, the tour of uh, of Stampy's Lovelier World, which uh, is basically a um, a remake and then some uh, of my lovely world, where they basically took like my builds and my mini games and rebuilt them, but improved them and added things and redecorated them and changed the theming. Their version of the Creeper Coaster is like. With all of these talks of like Disneyland and stuff, 
uh, yeah, it basically feels like a Disney ride. It is incredible. Uh, so uh, if you have any interest in that, I uh, definitely recommend it to, to do it. Uh, will you be unboxing the 10 million uh, subscriber plaque? I will do. I'll be doing it as a, as a live stream uh, as soon as I get it. Uh, so stay tuned uh, for that. Does anyone have any uh, fun questions or some like would you would you rather questions? Uh, if you could be any animal, what would you be? Uh, Fluffy the the sheep asks. Um, I, I always try. And th I always think of these two seriously. I should just be, say something silly and be like, I'll be an ant and I'll crawl around. Uh, but I, I always think like, what would I want to be? So I would want to make sure that I can fit inside buildings too much. As cool as it would be to say like, I'll be a elephant or a giraffe it'd be annoying to oh, you know what you know what i think it would be the most boring answer i think i'd be like a chimpanzee or something because then i could still play video games okay or like a gorilla but is that boring the gorilla would be quite cool actually because i'd just be so like tough you know imagine like tuning into a live stream and i'm here just playing minecraft I maybe need a bigger controller. <laughs> I need like big giant joysticks. And I'm just a just a big old gorilla. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe could just walking down because I could be like I could get a I think if I got a cool hat, if I got like a fedora or something, imagine a gorilla with a fedora and like no other clothes but just like a tie and just walking down the street with like like a like a Costa cup of tea or something. And just be like, good morning, good morning, good morning. Like, that would be cool. Because if I was like, 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 if I was like a cat or something, I'd be like scampering around and people might step on me and stuff. Oh, is everyone angry that I didn't say I'd be a cat? <laughs> I mean, a cat would be cool. It would be cool to be all nimble and fast and stuff. I think everything, I, I think what everyone's going to remember is that I never decided to be a cat in Minecraft. I never decided to be Stampy Cat. That wasn't a decision that I like consciously, intentionally made. It happened. I, my YouTube channel was called Stampy Long Nose. I had to pick a skin. I ended up like I did a, for those that don't know this story, uh, this doesn't work by the way, sorry, we can't do that. Um, I did a video, so I kept changing my skin. I was Steve, I was a wizard for a while. I kept changing my skin in, in, my, in my Lovely World videos. And then I did a video where I was showing everyone how you downloaded a free skin pack that they just released. And in it was the fidget skin, which is the, uh, the skin that I use. Um, and in that video, the last skin that I showed was this one, the fidget skin. And so I ended up just staying it. At the end of that video, then I started the next video, I was it. And in the end, I was like, oh, this is quite a cool skin. I think I'll just, like, stay being this skin for a bit. You know, not even knowing it would be the skin I kind of choose forever. Um, so, yeah, I ended up staying as a as a, as this. And then uh, I realized that it looks a bit like a cat. It's not a cat. Like, this isn't a cat skin. Like, this isn't a cat. But I called it a cat. And now it, it kind of made it a cat. And now when people look at it, they think it's a cat. But if you look at it, it doesn't really look like a cat, <laughs> you know, I guess it's kind of got ears, but they're not cat ears. So, you know, I kind of just made it up as being like a stampy cat. Um, but I never thought, oh, I'm going to be a cat. It just kind of all happened, all happened very naturally. Uh, will you ever do a setup tour? Says, uh, says Go Jordan. Um, I kind of did a little bit one today. So before I uh, started this stream, uh, I got a tickety tock, by the way. Uh, I I I did a I did a I did a live on Tickety Talk uh, on TikTok. If anyone's oh, it's a squid. It's like fish inside the bowling ring. Um, yeah, I did a um, a TikTok live, basically just letting people on TikTok know that I'm going to be streaming here, um, just because it felt like a good way to um, to let people know. Um, and in that. Uh, basically because I realized I kind of started 20 minutes quite early. I didn't really know what to do. So I kind of give like, I gave like a little mini tour of my office. So I don't know if uh, on TikTok you can go back and watch old lives, old live streams. Uh, but if you can, that's, uh, that's the closest thing I've done to a proper tour. In terms of like a whole proper like filmed video tour, uh, I don't have any plans to do it. Um, maybe I will, but, um... Yeah, I see. Uh, see how much interest there is for it. I just never like going too much into the the tech stuff, just because like 
the tech stuff, like, I guess people are interested, but it's so not important to the quality of the content anymore. Like, there used to be, like, quite a hard barrier to, like, to do video production. You would need a proper camera and tapes and editing software or, and, like, skill, you know? And, and I don't mean, like, as in you don't need skill now. You still need creative talent, but you needed, like, technical talent in order to physically cut things together or to know how this complicated for professionals only software work and that's all out the window now now you can make real high quality content by just doing this you know you can just hold your phone out and just talk like this and like the content that becomes quality by your script or your ideas or your your dance moves or your uniqueness like that that's where the talent is and that's where the quality of content comes now not you know, how many megapixels is your camera? What resolution do you record at? How many frames a second? That That isn't what dictated... And it never really dictated true quality, but it all mattered in a way that it doesn't matter now. Now that anyone, you know, who's got a phone can, like, record a thing, press a few buttons, upload a thing, and that could be, you know, an incredible thing that, you know, blows up and goes viral. So uh, I never like focusing on the tech too much because, you know, I have upgraded my setup over the years and it is, you know, quite a, I guess from a technical standpoint, high quality setup, but I never like trying to give the impression that that is in any way the thing that matters uh, on YouTube, which is a very long answer to me saying no, probably won't do one. Uh, I'm getting a bit hot, so I'm gonna take my jumper off, but I'm gonna go to a be back soon screen uh, just because I don't want you to see my belly <laughs> when I pull my jumper off. I'm also just gonna stand up and stretch for a bit. Uh, if anyone's been sitting down for a long time watching, uh, maybe now would be a good time to have a stand up, a little bit of a stretch and a shake of the uh, the limbs uh, as well. And have a drink. Stay hydrated. Okay, welcome back. It would say like, stretching, I'm stretching, I'm drinking water. It's only a list. Stretchy stretch, Ginger Moon says. Stampy doesn't want us to see his six pack, says Bike. Yeah, no, that's what it is. That's what it is. Covering up my embarrassing six pack. <laughs> that's the reason. Uh, would you ever consider playing Slime Rancher? It's very addictive and fun in my opinion. So I've actually seen loads of Slime Rancher just because Squishy um, records it and does videos on it. Uh, so I've never actually, well, I've played it a little bit, but just like, like you know, in her world. Um, but uh, yeah, I've never really played it uh, played it properly. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'd get it, if, if I'd really get into it too much. Uh, can you show the the dogs? Uh, well, May's downstairs, but uh, Alex is here. Unless you're my Alex. Hello. You can go. That looks like, you looks like you've found like the world's uncomfiest position to lie in. That dog bed is more than big enough for you and you're sprawled. She's like dripping. She's like she looks like um someone's put syrup on a plate and it's like drooping over the edge as she waterfalls onto the blanket. To be fair, as far as uh, as far as rugs go, it's a pretty comfy one, so I can't can't blame her too much to to be fair. Um, I'll oh, thank you to uh, I still a question but thank you to, uh, to Sweet who says uh, you may not get as many views as you used to but you still have a special place in everyone's heart thank you so much uh, thank you to um, uh, to Dr. Zoidberg who says uh, hey Stampy I was wondering why Longbow isn't in your videos 
And right after episode 95, uh, no one else was in your Terraria series. Uh, so Longbow, uh, he did appear in videos um, after that. Um, there was a few, because yeah, he would always come back and uh, build the snowmen. But the, the reality is, is people, people have lives, people are busy. And so I kind of moved away from um, having helpers as like real people. Um, you know, like other YouTubers or friends and stuff. Uh, yeah, basically because people have things they need to do. And like, say if I have a, say if it's like Squishy is joining my videos and she kind of becomes the character as Squishy. Like if she's not able to record that day, then if I had any sort of story related to her, it kind of doesn't line up. So uh, I've decided to have it as the, uh, the helpers we have now, uh, basically William, Polly and Fizzy. And then that means multiple people can play those characters um, much easier. Uh, and then we can always have the same consistent cast, I guess. Seems weird saying like, you know, it's just these little let's play videos. Like, <laughs> I think it's like it's some like big production uh, rather than just a few of our friends being silly and, and building stuff. But uh, yeah, it kind of just seemed to, to make more sense. And I know that people miss some of the old helpers just because they have like uh, nostalgia towards them and, uh, and stuff. But uh, the reality is even for those old helpers, uh, other people played other people's characters uh, and stuff. So um, yeah, I think this is kind of the the way that's uh, worked out uh, a little bit better for, for me. Uh, thank you to Hey Man, who says, Hey Samps, would you rather play Flower Power or Cat and Mouse for a whole day with friends? I think uh, Flower Power just because, two reasons. One, I think that uh, like it would be each game would be more unique like there's so many different stuff that could happen in each game of flower power It would be more fun. Also by the end of that day I'd be so good at PvP like if I did like flower power for an entire day If I went online and started doing like hunger games, I would just wipe the floor with everyone. So um, yeah, that would be uh, <laughs> That would be my my answer uh, How's Nettie? Uh, Nettie's doing really good. Uh, Nettie uh, my sister uh, she they have, um, they've just got a, a new house uh, and they're um, just getting some building work on it and about to, to move in. Uh, I called her up yesterday and had a, a good chat with her. Uh, we, uh, we play a lot of like quiz games and stuff online. So yeah, she's, uh, she's doing really good. Oh, my hunger bar. Oh, thank you, Roxy. I will, uh, I will have something to, to eat. Uh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea, says Troy. I've no idea. I don't know what you're talking about there. Uh, <laughs> um, any, uh, any other more? I want, I want more fun questions. I want more would you would silly would you rather questions and sorry I probably keep asking for them and then missing them I'm sure there have been like loads of great ones but the uh, the chat is uh, is going by quite quick <laughs> so uh, any uh, any interesting uh, or fun would you rather questions it'd be good to to do a few of them I feel like there's nothing else uh, <laughs> nothing else that I can say about myself <laughs> I feel like um, Every, everything everything's been asked about me <laughs> so let's uh, let's get some sillier ones uh, would you rather be a cow or a snail I think I'd rather be a cow because I don't want to be gooey um, uh, Emily asks, says beans question mark yes beans I had beans on crumpets for lunch today so um yes I guess would be my answer to that question uh, would you rather be stuck in a room uh, for a day with Squid or Squishy? Definitely Squishy. I can barely make it through a 20 minute video recording with him, let alone a whole day locked in a room with him. <laughs> I said lovingly about him in case anyone sends this as a clip to him. Uh, Billy says, can you say hi, Billy? I can. Hi, Billy. Um, uh, oh, Amy says, would you rather spend a day with Timmy the turtle or spend a day with Sandra the penguin? I'm going to say Sandra the Penguin because I know you love um, Timmy the Turtle. So um, <laughs> I'm going to do that just to annoy you a little bit. Uh, what's your opinion on cheeseburgers? Um, like Beyond Meat Burgers are lovely. Um, would you rather eat Suspicious Stew or a Glistening Melon in real life? See, that's a great question, Michael Taylor, because the obvious option would be Glistening Melon. But then you've got a question... Why is it glistening? What's in there? Is it gold? And you think, oh, is it gold in the melon? That's great. I've got loads of gold, but I got to eat it. And would eating metal be worse? I just can't believe what <laughs> Alex is still in that position. <laughs> See how long she stays like that. Yeah, would eating like literal metal be worse than suspicious stew? But suspicious stew could be made out of anything. It could be so gross, but I have to go with the stew. 
I think that's the only answer. I don't I don't want to eat literal I think I'll choke to death eating metal. Um Oh, what dog would you bring back? Deserted Royale says. I mean, it's got to be Gregory, right? The first dog that I ever died. I loved Gregory so much. Gregory was like in a time when I was new to Minecraft and often playing by myself and not knowing what was going on. The constant companionship of Gregory being there with me was um was a special thing that was stolen from me by a uh, by a skeleton. So um. Yeah. Uh, your camera is flipped, says Skating Frog. Uh, it is. The reason it's flipped is so that if I'm looking at the game, I'm like looking inwards at the screen. Because if, if it was the other way, I'd be like this the whole time, which looks... It always just looks a bit weird when someone's looking to the edge of a screen. Here's a fun thing that you can notice and you'll never unnotice. So say if you're watching a TV show or a film and there's two people talking, they always like talk into the space and it will always be the opposite bit of the space so say if i'm here and i'm talking blah 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 you see that there's like much more space in front of me than behind me then if you cut to the other person talking like this blah 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 blah, it will be the same thing where there'll be more space here it just looks much more natural rather than like it almost looks like they're talking to a wall otherwise and or like like they're like not in the right position and stuff so yeah that's why i flipped it just because of my setup otherwise it would uh, it would look weird uh, Swarvy says your room looks so nice. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, this is my my new office. Uh, there's probably going to be a few more decorations and stuff I'll add in uh, at some point, but uh, I've been uh, happy with it. Uh, any more uh, any more questions? Let me pause the chat so I've got a chance to read one. Um, oh, what building in your lovely world would you want to live in in real life? I mean, if I was going to live there, it would have to be the house, right? Just because then I've got like a bedroom and a kitchen and stuff. But which one would I just like to like exist in real life? Um, it depends whether it would be like how close it would be to me. Like, I'm just trying to think if there's any of these mini games that would be amazing uh, in like in real life to go to. No, I, th I think I'd, I think it would have to be like the wackiest thing. What's like the weirdest thing? Or maybe uh, maybe raindrops that ride. Like you go up into a giant tube and then you like launch through the air in a boat. If that could be built in real life and be made 100% safe, I'd love that to be built in London and I'd like to ride that. There we go. There's, a, there's my answer. And actually, I'm, I'm changing my answer again. My answer is I want my clock tower to be built five meters in front of Big Ben. Because then no one would care about Big Ben. Everyone, like all the tourists, would come over and be like, "Oh look, Big Ben!" And everyone would be like, "Big Ben? Who cares about Big Ben? Look at that giant clock tower, Stampy's clock tower. Big Ben is old news. Small Ben. We want Big Stampy. Forget, <laughs> forget Big Ben. <laughs> Big Ben's tiny now. Then I'd get all of the credit. So there we go. That's my that's my actual answer. <laughs> uh, Frankie says, "Have you ever been to Brighton? I have. I have been to Brighton regularly." regularly um yeah i've got friends who live in brighton uh, and uh, i've been there a, a whole bunch of times uh what's your favorite mini game uh probably temple trap i, I would uh, i would say should have a go at this parkour for those who haven't seen this game basically you do parkour and you go around like this and it's a race so everyone will be doing parkour at the same time but these red blocks you can stand on them now and they make it easier and faster to get around but after every single lap we have to see whether the uh, the redstone works. Uh, they all drop down. I'm amazed I've actually done this so far. Yeah, so let's see if this works. Hey! Oh! Oh no, doesn't work. Okay, so on console edition, <laughs> where I built it, every, <laughs> every time you did a lap, all of them would drop down. And so it would mean that, like, when you finish a lap, you're kind of messing up everyone that's behind you because they might not be uh, expecting it. So they would all stay down until the next person goes round and then they'd all go and, uh, and lift back up again. Uh, Ethan asks, what's your favourite Minecon moment? Um, I don't know if I could pick a single favourite. Like, i got to be honest, like, the feeling of being on stage and, like, being in front of the crowd. Like, I'm an introverted person. I'm someone who, like, the idea of being famous is something that, like, not only has not appealed to me, I've, like, even during YouTube, I've kind of active actively... What are you doing up there, Benji? Get down. Uh, I've actively kind of tried to avoid. And it's kind of one of the things that's 
like I've been kind of grateful of, of the fact that I never got famous. I kind of got slightly popular and I got to a point, but it never got to the point where it intruded in my life in an oppressive way. But when you're on stage and there's like, I don't know, what, 10,000 people or whatever it is at Minecon's like cheering and like engaged in what you're doing and laughing and you're... Um, you're up there, like, it's an amazing feeling. Like, I get it. Like, I get why musicians and people that, that love that stuff, like, I get the, uh, the appeal of it. You know, it's, it's exciting and it's just, it's just fun because I'm just a, I'm just a bloke who plays video games. <laughs> and like, I'm just like, I'm probably about as average of a guy as there could be <laughs> in terms of just like, I'm just a, you know, like, in terms of like every area, I'm just an average guy. Yeah. But then, to suddenly be like thrown on stage it's like i won like a contest or something you know like you can think of actually like even like other youtubers who might feel the same way but they just kind of like have a different atmosphere and they're just a level of confidence and you know they feel like they're being almost born to be in that role and i feel so far from that so then the fact that i can be on stage and kind of do that stuff it really stands out um another really uh great part um and something that's probably not spoke about much uh from mojang um is uh, Mojang have always been really amazing with their the charities that they get uh, involved uh, at, um, at Minecons. Uh, so like, uh, especially with uh, with Make-A-Wish, like a lot of people's uh, wish through uh, Make-A-Wish and other wish charities, not just Make-A-Wish, uh, is to go to Minecon. And they don't just let them go to Minecon, they have like the premium Minecon experience. So they're all sitting right in the front row. You're literally in front of the developers and of the game, way in front of the YouTubers and, you know, the other people involved with the show. They're front and center. Um, and then they also um, hang out with us. So in the VIP room, we have like, like uh, sessions where we go and meet everyone. Uh, we had one year uh, is when we were in Anaheim where they actually booked out an arcade uh, we went to uh, to an arcade and played Minecraft with a bunch of them, and they're always just really, uh, really special moments. Uh, so that uh, definitely uh, stands out uh, as well. Um, so yeah, they're, they're kind of the the two big stand-up things, and then just the general meet and greets uh, as well. It's just like a, a day spent doing meet and greets is just like it is the most tiring thing you can do, but the feeling you have at the end of it, it's like you're in like a dream. Like it's meeting people like. It, the feeling of having someone just excited to meet you, like it's just, it, it's weird. It's it's weird to, to have that and have it end like all day, like having people come up because, and like, I don't want this to sound like I'm being big headed or anything because the reason it's so weird for me is because then I go home and I'm just here and it's quiet and it's just me and like a couple dogs and a cat and my wife and we're just living normal life and we're playing video games and we're having baked beans on crumpets and then I go to town and no one looks twice at me you know it's just complete normal average boring <laughs> probably life for most people and then to transition it to put me in a different place and it's you know like people act like you're some sort of star like it's just it's just weird I think that's the way to put it it's like it's not I wouldn't say it's necessarily really good or really bad it's weird but I'm so grateful that I had the chance to experience what's that that's like but I'm so glad I can step away with it and I'm not like, you know, like, you know, Will Smith or someone who just can't go anywhere or do anything. You know, he's just too famous. He's too famous. He can't do anything. You see, he's, he's like, he can like, you know, loads of people are like that. They just can't, you know, I'm going to go down to the cafe and have a drink. So like, yeah, you need like bodyguards. You need to like put like a cap on and sunglasses. Like I would hate that. I would hate that. Um, by the way, sorry, I rambled for a, a very long time. Uh, anyone got any new connections? Uh, what's your favorite Spider-Man movie? James Hobbit says, uh, Into the Spider-Verse, uh, without a doubt. I do like the old spider not the old, old ones, but the, um, oh, you know, Spider-Man 1, 2, and 3. Um, the, I don't, I can't remember, I, I don't know how else to describe them because I never know the name of any actors. Um, but uh, yeah, I did enjoy those ones, but Into the Spider-Verse is amazing. Uh, Anthony says, uh, do you get recognized in public often? Not so much anymore. Like, I'll be honest, I used to a lot more uh, than I do now. Um, it used to be pretty regular. Like, it would never... Well, unless, like, there was sometimes when we had gone to, like, an arcade or we went bowling or, like, cinemas, places like that, it would happen more. Um, but normally if we were going to the shops or something, like the supermarket, like, we would generally get spotted um, once or twice. Uh, you know, was was quite consistent. Uh, now it's kind of... 
I mean, obviously now I'm not going out the house at all, really, apart from to walk the dogs and nothing at all. But like before that, it would be, you know, we'd, we'd get I'd get spotted maybe twice or three times a month or something. So uh, yeah, not uh, not too regularly. Um, uh, yeah, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man films. That's the one, Tobey Maguire. So yeah, so I enjoyed the first and second one of them. Third one, not so much. Into the Spider-Verse, League of Its Own. Love that film. Now I've mentioned it, it makes me want to watch it again. And I watched it relatively recently because it's so, so good. Uh, okay. Um, Toko, or Toko, says, fight chicken-sized zombies or zombie-sized chickens? Right, so chicken-sized zombie so tiny zombies or big chickens basically i mean zombies are just terrifying no matter the size right i feel like even a little zombie still kind of scary because they only need to bite you once and then you could turn unless they're like minecraft zombies because they're rubbish because they just like punch you and you swat them away but then again like chickens are quite scary anyway if they're pecking oh i'm gonna i'm gonna go with the zombies actually i'm gonna go for the zombies and i'm gonna have a big stick and I'm going to go and poke them all away. Uh, Thunderbolt, I'll say uh, a few questions. Um, uh, thank you also to, uh, to to Danzi, the Red Finger, and uh, Sam Gain Grand for the uh, the donations. Uh, he says, uh, hi, Sam B. Uh, a while ago you said uh, uh, for my friend uh, Danielle uh, to get better, and they did. Oh, that's so good. Uh, they wanted to say thank you uh, from both of us. Oh, thank you so much. And thank you for the, uh, the update. I'm so glad Danielle's uh, doing better. Uh, so, yeah, Thunderbolt. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm going to have to end this soon. I've done too much shouting the last few days. <laughs> Maybe I should stop shouting and just talk normally. <laughs> uh, Thunderbolt says, I have two questions. Uh, one, have you ever been rickrolled? Yes, I've been on the internet. <laughs> of course I have. Uh, two, would you rather meet Paul McCartney or Ringo Starr? I mean, Paul McCartney. Like, right? Like, <laughs> I think, I think, out of everyone here, the only answer is even, is like Paul McCartney or like, who? From like, people that, <laughs> that don't know the Beatles. I'm assuming most people here know the Beatles, but um, yeah, we have a we have a mixed audience here, so um, they might not know them by name. But yeah, Paul McCartney, obviously. Uh, favorite Minecraft update? Um, I don't really know them all by names. You know, what? I'm I'm gonna go out on a limb here. My favorite update is the new one, the cave update. I've not even played it yet. Not even played the snapshots. All it all. I what is Alex doing? <laughs> I thought she had found literally the world's most uncomfortable position and she was like, ah, but what if I put my neck backwards at a 90 degree angle? I could be even less comfy. <laughs> I don't know why it's like a, an evil plan for her to be uncomfy. But yeah, I've not even played the new update, but it looks so good and I'm so excited about it. I think it is going to be the best update because I am someone who's all about vanilla Minecraft I don't like the mods and resource packs and add-ons and stuff. So, um, oh, I didn't bring a boat. Oh, this isn't going to end well, is it, up here? Oh, I didn't think about this. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's my favourite update that I've not even played yet. I may end up regretting that. Uh, I mean, to be fair, it's probably something like more mundane, which we don't think about, but change the way the game works. Like, I, I remember being excited for when they added shears because I was trying to build my lighthouse, which you can see in the, uh, the top of the screen there. And I was going around punching sheep for like five weeks to, <laughs> to get enough wool because I couldn't shear sheep. And then they added shears and my, my life was improved. So it's probably going to be something really boring like that. But in terms of excitement, I mean, the uh, I don't know what it's called, like the caves and something um, is probably my, uh, probably my, my favorite one. Uh, any uh, any more uh, funny would you rather? It doesn't have to be would you rather questions, but just kind of like some fun, some fun silly one. Uh, what's your favourite fantasy book slash movie? Um, I'm so bad at questions like this because I always just pull a blank. Because I know there's a probably a really like obvious answer. Oh, do you think I can make that? Am I going to die here? Ah! You saw nothing. You saw nothing. Right, let me go. Let me go get my stuff back. I'll take the tree train. I didn't ride the tree train before. I'll take the tree train. What's my fa um No, I don't know. 
Like, I kind of like Harry Potter, but I'm not like a big Harry Potter fan. And that's like, there couldn't be a more boring answer. I'm not a big Lord of the Ring fan. I'm, I'm trying to think of like something more obscure that I like. I just can't really think of it. So sorry, I'm going to I'm gonna say I don't have an answer to your question just because my brain is so bad at, at recalling stuff. Uh, what font do you use for Lovely World? Oh, that's an interesting one. I don't know if I want to give it out because... Uh, actually, you know I will because why not? Uh, the font is called Simplicity. Can't remember where I got it from. Uh, pretty like a royalty free font website. But there we go. That will uh, help everyone's um, Lovely World parodies and uh, recreations, I guess. <laughs> I, wanna... I, I do like those really like directed fine, uh, fine detail uh, questions. Uh, Zoe Dragon just says horror movies, question mark. And I guess I'd say no, I don't really watch horror movies. Like, I've seen some, and there are some that I've enjoyed, but I'm a bit of a, a, bit of a coward, so uh, don't, really, uh, don't really watch too many of them. Uh, if you could have any animal in the world as a pet, what would it be? Um, the problem is, is the classics are pretty good. Like, the reason why loads of people have cats and dogs... It's because they're pretty, like, great for pets. Like, not only are they, like, cute and adorable and fun and stuff, and sleep in interesting ways, but, like, they're quite convenient, <laughs> you know? <laughs> they're, like, quite compact and easy to feed and toilet trade and stuff. Like, I'd like to say, like, ah, oh, it'd be a hippopotamus. But it's like, yeah, but they're big and hard to look after and, like, dangerous. And where am I going? Um... So I'm going to say my pets. I'm going to say my own pets. Uh, what's your favourite Minecraft mob? Uh, RJB asks. Uh, I guess that includes... Does that include friendly mobs? I guess I'll give my favourite friendly and hostile. So friendly... Uh, let's exclude dogs because I have like personal connections to specific dogs. And I'm just going to think of the mobs as a whole. Um, sheep? No, not sheep. Pigs? Foxes are cute. The bees are very cute. I like the bees. Dolphins are pretty great because they can play. Oh, pandas. Pandas, right? Pandas? Pandas? Pandas. Yeah, I'm going to go with pandas. Where's this... Rainbow. Oh, there, oh, there. Oh, so here's the patch here. Okay, there it is. Oh, how am I even going to get up it? Can I swim up here? Yeah, I'm going to say pandas for now. Uh, and then favorite hostile mob. I know this is probably an unpopular opinion. Maybe it is a popular opinion, but I love creepers because I love the drama. I get it. If I've just spent ages building a thing and a creeper blows up something, it's a bit upsetting at the time, but I love the drama. Like... Zombies are boring. You know what I hate? I hate the drowned. I know, I know it's meant to be favourite, not least favourite. But the drowned are just the worst thing that's ever been added to Minecraft. And that's probably not true. There's obviously something that I'm not thinking about which is actually genuinely bad that has been added. <laughs> but I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say, uh, yeah, favourite creepers because they're exciting and they're unexpected and they're iconic. Least favourite is the drowned. Uh, right. Uh, oh, phantoms are the worst? See, I don't mind phantoms. I think they're quite cool. Like, because if you just sleep, you don't see them. And I'd like, yeah, I know, I like phantoms. And they give, they're, and they're quite a cool natural way for you to be able to repair the Elytra. I, is, is this going to be my, my unpopular opinion that I like phantoms? Because I'm normally like, every, every time I see someone on Twitter being like, Here's my unpopular opinion. And they say it. And I'm like, well, yeah, it's unpopular opinion because you're obviously wrong. They'll be like, here's my unpopular opinion. But ice cream's best eaten hot rather than cold. And it's like, well, no, obviously not. No, the reason it's an unpopular opinion is because you're just obviously wrong. But maybe, <laughs> maybe my one, maybe my one is I like phantoms. Uh, people are having a go at the glow squid. Squishy doesn't like the, um, doesn't like cave spiders. Gas are so annoying. Gas are funny. Gas are dumb. Gas feel like they were done by like, like someone who's like their first mod. And they're like, let me add something stupid to the game. It's gonna be a giant box with tentacles, 
and it's going to fly around have a big silly face and go beep 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 but then they're just so stupid <laughs> they're like I think Gars are one of the things that if they hadn't been in the game for so long if they added them now someone would be like oh they don't really fit in with Minecraft you know or they look at their bit you know they don't they don't fit in with everything else I think there's a lot of stuff in Minecraft which we like only because they've been in long enough and then if they took them away that would be sad because we're used to them and I think Gars are one of the oh slimes are good yeah you're right the voice of the ghast is a cat. Really? Oh, I hope the cat's still alive. Does anyone else get so... I get sad. <laughs> Anytime I see, like, a cat in, like, an old video. Say if I see, like, a video and it's from, like... Like, I don't know, like, 1980. And there's, like, a cat or a dog in it. I'm like, oh, they're dead. <laughs> is that bad? That my first thought was, oh, no. They're dead now. <laughs> And that's what that's what my first thought when they said like oh the ghast the ghast voice is a is a cat I'm like oh I hope that cat's still alive they might be dead <laughs> I welcome uh, black um welcome black welcome back blackbirds folly it says uh, hello again uh, so glad uh, you're considering wonder song thanks for for everything yeah as I said I'm I've got it so I'll be honest we've got we've got a few Xboxes <laughs> this isn't like a brag this is just a reality of lockdown life is we play a lot of video games because like obviously like Squishy and I have our offices so I got my office Xbox which I record on Squishy has her one and then we have like the living room one and then we have another one in the living room so we can play Overwatch together online and on one of those Xboxes I downloaded Wonder Song because I'm pretty sure they added it to Game Pass so hopefully it's uh it's uh, it's still on there Phoenix the cute kitten says uh would you rather be sticky. Oh, this is what I was after. These sorts of weird questions. Would you rather be sticky for the rest of your life or itchy for the rest of your life? Oh, see, I hate being itchy. And like, obviously I hate being itchy because everyone hates being itchy. Like, no, I don't think there's anyone's like, I oh, actually am partial to a bit of a scratch. I mean, scratching's fine. It's the itchiness. And I, I often get itchy at night and like I'll be in bed, like I'll be fine like all day long. And then I lie down in bed and I just be itchy and it will annoy me all night. So the idea of being like that all of the time, would I get, like, would my mind create some sort of barrier, some sort of um, resilience to the itch? Or is that against the uh, the spirit? So I feel like if you're continually itchy, your brain would, like, blank it out. And then sticky. So what level of stickiness? Because I feel like there's different degrees of stickiness. Because there's kind of like, you know, like, oh, someone's all, they've been a little bit sweaty and they're a little bit sticky and it just feels a bit gross. And then there's like, you know, I'm trying to put down this piece of paper, but it's stuck to me sticky, you know? There's, there's different levels. But I think I'm going to assume it's like medium levels of uh, stickiness and medium levels of itchiness. I think I'd rather be sticky than itchy. But everyone, everyone else can share your opinions in the uh, the chat. Would you rather be sticky or itchy? <laughs> uh, Dawson says, uh, did you ever think that you would hit 10 million subscribers? So it depends on like, <laughs> like for like when you ask me. Like say if I was just starting out YouTube and like if my mate came up to me and said, oh, do you reckon you ever get 10 million subscribers? I'd be like, no. I don't think I'm ever going to get like 1,000 subscribers, let alone like 10 million. <laughs> like it's really funny because there's uh, there's a, a, a 1,000 subscriber special that almost no one's seen because I reached 1,000 subscribers on my original channel shortly before I reached it on my second channel. And it's so funny because my, my first ever 1,000 subscriber special is a, a gameplay commentary of me playing Halo 4 and I'm just chatting and I'm like, hey, I hit a thousand subscribers. It's pretty cool. And in the video, I'm like, God, you know what? Like, it's not been easy. It's taken ages. I think it took me like, you know, a good few years of almost daily videos until I, re I reached a thousand subscribers. And even then, that was only because I started doing Minecraft. And so like, like back then, like I was basically ready. Like I was stopping doing YouTube altogether. So if you asked me then, are you going to reach 10 million subscribers? And I'd be like, is that even possible on YouTube? Because I think at that time, no one had reached 10 million subscribers. Uh, so if you ask then, like definitely not. But then if you ask me like, like if you ask me now, 
Like, it's like, yeah, I mean, it's all almost guaranteed, you know, so it's it's kind of hard. But certainly starting out, like, I YouTube was never meant to be anything other than just a silly thing that I do, you know, just for a bit of fun. Like, I'm passionate about games. I like, I like making videos. It made sense to link them together. I, you know, I was doing videos with my mates, just playing around, just enjoying it. Like, yeah, like, it was... It, it wasn't it wasn't even like a oh it's not likely but could happen kind of thing it just would didn't even enter my head <laughs> so um uh yeah i guess uh i guess that's your answer uh thank you to uh to to the gaming and movies uh who asked uh, will you do another bed wars live stream uh i won't if i do anything else on bed wars it will be as a pre-recorded video uh, just because the uh, the stream sniping was just a little bit unbearable and even with disguising my name and youtuber modes and uh, and stuff it um it never really uh, worked out. Uh, the Robloxian says, where are all of your old friends now? Uh, I don't know. I've stayed in contact with a decent um, amount of, uh, of, uh, of some of my, my older friends. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's basically people that I've stayed online and playing online games and stuff I've stayed in contact with. <laughs> and then uh, other people that have kind of grown up and become adults. <laughs> and don't spend as much time playing video games. Um, I haven't spoke to, uh, to as much, so... Uh, yeah, I don't know where everyone is, but a good amount of them. Uh, if not talking all the time, at least a few times a year, we'll kind of message and have a little check-in and uh, see how each other are. Uh, R says, never drink tea again or never eat cake again. Why would you ask such a mean question? Why would you be so mean? There is an answer, though. There is an answer. Like, I love cake. I really, like, genuinely, like, cake isn't just a Minecraft thing. I do love cake in real life. But like, tea is like, is like a, an essential substance <laughs> for me, you know? Like, I feel like a fairer question would be like, what would you rather never have again, tea or air? You know, like that, that would be a question I'd have to think about. I'd be like, ah, oh, see, if I didn't have air, I'd suffocate and die. But if I didn't have tea, <laughs> would life be worth living? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, tea is essential. Like, the first thing I think about when I wake up in the morning is going down and having our first cup of tea. So I'm afraid, like, tea versus almost anything else, tea would be the, uh, tea would be the, the winner. <laughs> I'd say, uh, for, for that one. Uh, will you ever put your world up for download? Uh, Gaming Central says. Um, uh, yeah, I will do. Uh, so I've always said I'll put it up for download, um, when it's finished, when it's done. Uh, and it's uh, it's not done yet. I am still building it. Uh, so my plan is is once I've kind of recorded my first uh, my first my first, my last uh, lovely world video, uh, then I'll put it up for uh, for download, and then anyone else can go and have a a play around in it uh, if they uh, if they want to. All right, we're drawing uh, into the uh, the end of the stream here. So final few questions. So if there is uh, any um, last things that any uh, anyone wants to to know. Uh, feel free to, to write them in now and I'll try and get through. Uh, we'll try and quick fire a few of these. Uh, thank you to Ducky Ducky. He says, uh, will you get a U2s? Uh, I have over 140. Wow, I did not know that that many people did it. Uh, no, um, I don't think I'd ever do any of those kind of group uh, like merchandise stuff. Uh, Terraria or Minecraft? Uh, Minecraft. Um, uh, if you could go to any fictional world, where would you go to, says the Flying Tiger? Uh, it would be something sci-fi. I would want to go to space. So, but like, what's like a happy, a happy sci-fi film? Um, I don't know. A happy sci-fi film. That's my answer. I can't think. I, I do mind blank. Uh, what happened to Hit the Target? Uh, watch Darkness, my most recent Hit the Target video, and you will see you'll be up to date. Uh, can you go back to Tab, says J.E.? Uh, yeah, I might do another Tab stream. They were good fun. Uh, no plans to do them soon. I do have a plan for... Uh, what game I'm going to be streaming next. Uh, so it's not tabs, uh, but I can kind of do those as one-offs whenever I want. Whenever I want to stream, but I don't know what to stream. Uh, tabs is always like a um, uh, a nice option uh, for, for that. Um, when did you realize that you kind of raised a whole generation, says MJ Smith. <laughs> like, that's only something that I've really probably been thinking about recently. And it's only been very, like, within the last five months or so that I've got so many comments 
uh, from I don't know it seemed like everyone got to the same age together and everyone suddenly got nostalgic for me at the same time and so I suddenly received an influx of, uh, of messages but uh, yeah until recently it's certainly something that I didn't think about and when it was happening I was obviously very conscious about um, you know I do hate the term influencer like most influencers do but um, I was very aware that I was having an influence on you know, people that may have been younger at the the time and was very conscious of, of that. And that is something that I always considered when I, you know, was making a decision about, you know, am I going to do this branding deal? What topics am I going to talk about in videos? What tone am I going to have? If I lose a video, a, a mini game, am I going to be angry and shout? Or am I going to say, that was fun. Well done to the person that won. We had a good time anyway. You know, what what message am I giving out? So it was something that I consciously thought about, but not in the uh, the degree that I have about uh, recently. Uh, why do you not want to join an SMP, Benny asks? I guess I might as well end with a an SMP question as a, a sandwich. We had one at the beginning, one in the middle, and one now. Uh, yeah, it's just not my kind of thing. Uh, it's not my kind of thing. I don't like the fact that I wouldn't be in control of it. Uh, just because I don't know what's going to happen if there's drama or if someone gets invited to it who, you know, I wouldn't um, want to record with and I don't like big group stuff. Uh, and yeah, I just don't really, I just don't, I just don't want to do it. Like at the moment I do whatever I want to do on YouTube um, and that's just something that I wouldn't really want to, to do. So there's not really much more, uh, more to it uh, than that. Uh, last question, final question. Uh, was a good one. All right, here we go. The final question that I'm going to answer in this Q&A is from Hoodie Girl says, would you rather have really bad gas or a really dry mouth? What is going on here? <laughs> when, did you, <laughs> when did she end up in that position? This is what we, uh, we call in this household as the... Uh, the cross-on position. You can see the curvature of the entire body from snoot to boot. Yeah, when we have a a, a position like that, we call it the full croissant. And that is uh, what Alex is going for here. You can see the way she's moved from the bed onto the, uh, onto the rug. Oh, hi, Alex. Hey, sweetheart, how's it going? Did you know that there are five and a half thousand people watching you sleeping in a silly position right now, Alex. Did you know that? Did you know that there's over 5,000 people staring at, the, at whatever it is you're up to right now? Did you know that, Alex? Did you know they all just saw you have a little yawn? Oh dear, she has no idea. Would I rather have a dry mouth? Oh, come here, come give me a cuddle. Come here, Alex, come here. So good girl. Uh, yeah, uh, I think I would rather have bad gas. And that is because I wouldn't be able to record very well with a, uh, a dry mouth. And I already have bad gas. That's going to be the end of this stream here, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We might do this again at some point in the uh, the future with something else going on for the, uh, the gameplay. Uh, there'll be Lovely World restarting on Wednesday. New streams coming up regularly on the channel. Stay tuned. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye!